Happy Friday! It is time again for this week is the vintage collectible hard goods sale. Every other week I do jewelry. So because we skipped a week, I we haven't done a like this sale for a while. So I'm excited to be here doing the sale and um, bear with me. Got a little brain fog going on where we have God, I'm not gonna cry. It's a tough day around here. So a lot of you know we we love our animals and uh, we have a Rottweiler named Zena and she's had cancer for a while and uh, she's she's telling us that you know it's time so we're gonna get through this <laughs> sorry guys it's a tough day so if I'm a little scatterbrained forgive me um, but thank you all for for understanding she's laying right outside you know my door here she just wants to be with us and oh, she's such a good dog okay I know what I got Rachel over here crying now too okay well at least I get that out of the way so oh I wish they lived longer I really do I wish you do I mean the tortoises tortoises will outlive us so at least we got that okay so today, if you're new, and we don't normally start it with crying, um, but we do ask that you register by sending your real name, your YouTube name, just as it shows up over here in the live chat, and your zip code. Send that over to the niche lady at gmail.com, and uh, we'll get you good to go. And we do that because a couple of reasons. Number one, it helps us know that you are a legit bidder and that we don't have any artificial bidding going on over here with what we call trolls. And number two, so that at the end of all this, I have a way to communicate with you, send you an invoice and all that. And I do send out invoices. So if you win something, don't try to pay me until you get your invoice. So you will get an invoice. Oh, I know. And Jamie, I know you're, I've, I've seen on Facebook, you're going through something similar. So. I hear you. Okay. Um, so we have about 50 items set out. I'm not sure we'll get to all of them. I would love to get to all of them. And the way we can do that is if we keep this thing moving quickly, we start everything at $1. And you, what is my phone doing? My phone is restarting. Um, we start everything at $1 and you can do $1 bid increments or you can do five or six or seven or 10 or 20, whatever you want. You just can't do any change. We don't do any change bids. And once we get, if something goes over $50 then we do ask for $5 bid increments, that just speeds up the process. I don't know what my phone is doing. Can you power it down? And then my phone is freaking out. And I'm actually waiting for a response back from the vet. Uh, so I need my phone to be working. So yeah, so we ask that you do that. Make sure you're in live chat and not top chat. And I know, I don't know why YouTube likes to put everybody into top chat, but make sure you're in live chat to see all the comments. Otherwise you may miss out on a bid. Did it work? It still won't power down. Are you holding it and it won't power down? What is going on with my phone? My phone is crashing. Okay, we'll just keep an eye on it. Don't don't keep holding it down. Just hopefully, anybody like it's just stuck on this. It won't do nothing. That's really weird. I've never had it do that. Alrighty then. Well, there's that. <laughs> it's a bad day. I'm telling you. And it's gloomy on top of everything too. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna, you know what? We're gonna do this and we're gonna have fun and it's and it's gonna be okay. All right. And I'm just I'm looking over. Oh, we can't I can't take the battery. You can't take the battery out. <laughs> no, nah, those days are gone. 
the only thing you, the, you they make you replace batteries now um which really sucks i wish we could just replace batteries because that's usually when i have to replace the phone is when the battery no longer holds a charge um because you can't just replace them i mean you can go pay to have them replaced but the thing is they make the covers glass and they break really easy and and all that stuff so yeah it's time for a new phone All right. Um, what am I forgetting? We have the the people over in the chat with the blue font and oh, and you can get over to um, go find the video now. Make sure you're got it um, with the blue font and the wrenches next to those their names. Those are my moderators. They keep things in line. We have a system that has worked very very good for months and months. So um, the way we do this to keep it fair to everyone is I'm going to auction something off. We started at a dollar. You put your bid increment over in the chat. You don't need to put a dollar sign. You know, don't need to put dot zero zero. Just put the number and follow along. And um, when you're out, it really helps if you say you're out. We can close things down a little quicker sometimes that way. But when I say sold, in real life, you won't actually hear me say it for sometimes, you know, 15 to 20 seconds. For instance, what I say right now, you're not hearing yet. So when you hear me say now, type now over in the chat. And now watch how long it takes for that to happen. Counting down, counting down. la da -de -da -de -de -da. Lag, 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 lag. There we go. Ooh, Joni's got good connection today. <laughs> so that's why I don't decide the winner. I have my moderator, Joni, over there is going to type sold when she hears me say sold. Now, some of you are going to have a little bit different lag time. So be sure when you hear me say going once, going twice, you get your bids in. Do not wait if you try to what we call snipe it at the end. There's a very strong possibility you will miss out on the item. Now, rest assured, if let's say you're sitting there as the winning bid and nobody else is bidding and I start counting it down, but you're afraid somebody's going to come in and snipe, you are very, very welcome to put a higher bid. But I will not take that higher bid unless somebody else comes in to bid. Does that make sense? Like if you really want something, you go ahead and put your higher bid in so that you win the item, okay? But it only counts if somebody bids against you. I don't, I won't let you bid against yourself. All right, so Joni calls sold, and then the person who has the highest bid right before that is the winner. And then, well, today, I think Julia is going to call our winners. Julia, Perfecting Pearls. Let me just make sure you're here. We got all our mods coordinated over there. Um, and then I've got, you know, Melissa's over there. Melissa's kind of like behind the scenes everywhere. Melissa's helping with our spreadsheet that we have to keep track of. And Melissa's helping keep track of all kinds of stuff. <laughs> she's my, she's my run around and do a little bit of everything. So um, I'm not seeing Julia speak up. So um, Melissa, if Julia's not here, um, we need to get somebody else. Is Sneaky Fox here? Angela, are you in here? Let's see if Sneaky Fox, because maybe then, um, oh no, Joe, well, all right, this gets a little perplexing. We kind of sorted out before the sale, but now I'm not. Maybe she's having some internet trouble or something. I'm going to let the mods figure out between them who's going to do what job. But somebody is going to announce who the winner is. Uh, the, the mod that normally does it is not here today. Okay, Bree says she can do the winner. Oh, there's there she is. There's uh, there's Julia. Okay, you guys. I, you know what? I'm just going to, you guys work it out. That's the cool thing is the mods are all connected and they can, they can, they can handle it. <laughs> I'm going to get started selling stuff. How would that be? Because we have a lot of stuff to get to and uh, I want to sell as many of these items as possible. Oh, a couple of other things. So once you have spent $50 in this sale 
and that's whether you buy one thing or 10 things, you qualify for a shipping credit of up to $15, which in most instances counts as free shipping. Okay, very seldom does it go over 15 unless you buy multiple items. Um, and then you still, you get that $15 of credit and just pay the difference. So we have that. We do giveaways at the end also. So if you win something in today's sale, at the end, I have about a half a dozen items that I'm going to give away in a kind of a drawing system. So you want to stay tuned for that. And Oh, yes, all sales are final unless I've made some gross misrepresentation of something. Um, that's the reason for doing this format is you can ask questions as I'm showing something. I, I show it from all angles. I, I explain it as much as possible. So and I started at a dollar. So be sure that you want to have the item that you're bidding on because I can't do returns on the auction sales because it takes away from the niche foundation where a portion of your proceeds do go the niche foundation is a nonprofit that i'm in i, I it's formed in the state of nevada we don't have our uh, federal 501c3 we're still in that process but we are a recognized nonprofit in the state of nevada and what the niche foundation does is it helps disadvantaged women build their own online businesses so it's very near and dear to my heart is to help women rebuild their lives and take control of their finances. So, okay, dokie. Uh, now I don't think I forgot anything. So now we're gonna go to our first item, which is, it's a mug. It's a mug with a black kitty cat. It's very, very clean. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. It is a Christopher Vine Australia. There you go, there's the bottom presents the mob we'll see we'll see if my camera likes my new lighting do you guys notice i have new lighting today i don't look like all pasty white it's really weird because it it's almost like yellow to me in here but the, i think the colors are showing up ever so much better because it's a, it's a daylight bulb so there we go. We got the mug and I got Sneaky Fox at $5. Yes. And my moderators are allowed to bid. They have no advantage. There's no playing favorites. They are just YouTube people just like you. Um, they just get the special wrenches because they help me keep track of everything and, and run the show. But they have no advantage, no time advantage. I don't pick their bid over your bid. Everything is as it comes in. Am I going to cancel today? No, I am not going to cancel today. I am here. Linda, make sure you're up with us, Linda, because we have already started. That's the other thing. Make sure you guys are live and up where we're at in the sale. Right. Deborah is at $10. I see Deborah Labor at $10 for, oh, and he is on both sides. Little kitty cat is both sides. And I wish my nose would stop running. We got Deborah Labors already at 10. Be sure you're in live chat and not top chat. I'm thinking some people are missing some of the chat. There we go. I got Lois at 11. We're going to start counting them down. Going to start counting them down. Going once. Going twice. And this little kitty cat is going to be sold. And this is where kind of the lag comes in. So I got to wait and see. There's Joni sold. And it looks like Lisa G got in for $15. Lisa G got in for $15 first. So she has won the kitty cat mug. All right. The next lot is a pair of Homeco figurines. And they both have a, a country theme to them. Okay. First, you got the little the baby cow who knocked over the can of milk. 
There he is. I'm going to show you underneath. There is the home co. I think that's a home co symbol. I could be wrong. Okay, why are you not? Come on, camera. There you go. Pretty sure that's home co. Uh, and this one is actually marked home co. This is the denim days. And these two little kids have a baby horse. You can see there. And they're in their little overalls. And he's in really good condition. All, let me just double check, all fingers are accounted for. And it is marked Denim Days by Home Co. on the bottom. Come on, camera. Work with me here. Jeez, there we go. 1985. 1985. So you get both of them. You get both. Both of the figurines. And we're at $7 with Sneaky Fox. And I have no idea what these are going for on eBay. I didn't, I, I didn't have time to look anything up. I, sometimes I look it up and I'll tell you like values, but I didn't have time. I suspect they're going for more than $7 though. So we're at a resale price right now, which is awesome. I'd love for you guys to make money on this stuff. Is this the Country Cousins series? Oh, I don't know. I didn't even know there was a country cousins. Linda is not seeing the sale. Um, Linda, you're in the chat. So I'm not, maybe I, uh, she's not going to hear anything I say right now if she's not up with this. So maybe somebody could type in there the instructions to make sure whether you're on a phone or on a computer, how to make sure you're at the current part of the sale. Cause there are ways or I know on your phone, it's a, uh, you know, you hit the screen over to the right and it advances at 10 seconds. So as long as it's advancing, you know that you got to get caught up. And if nothing advances, then you know you are in the right place. You should also see the red live on the screen there too. What was the other way on the computer? Oh, the arrow key, just your, your right arrow key gets you there. All right. Rachel says the right arrow key will get you there too. So, or sometimes the up or sometimes the up. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Ah, she found it. Yay. All right. We got $16 with Lois and we're going once. We're going twice. And so what's next? No, she's not getting older. And what's up with that? Evil baby figurine. Okay. What's up with that? Didn't I find that? Mm -hmm. Blue shot glasses. Got it. Oh, is that what's next? Okay. All right. Sorry, Rachel and I are just discussing things amongst ourselves here. Uh, that went to Lois for eighteen dollars. All right. I'm on the mouse, right? Okay. I can be not copying and pasting like you normally do. So that you can see the thing. Oh, I'm good. I lined it up. That's why I'm lining it up that way. We're good to go. All right. Check out this cutie patootie. Is that not stinking adorable? Did you ever have a trapped feeling? Now there is a little wear on the words right, right here. You can see just a little wear there. Um, but the rest of them's in really good shape. I was told he's a napkin holder. See, this is gets tighter so it can hold the napkins. It is oops, upside down. There we go. It is also an Inesco made in Japan. Definitely vintage. This little guy is definitely vintage and very, very cute. It's a bit cheesy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Katie. No, you did not. We just got started. We're only on the second item. You did not miss the QPs. All right. We are at $7. I have Sneaky Fox at $7. $8 with Lois. I'm going to count him down very soon here. Going once. I see Mary got the first $10 in. So Mary is at $10. Let's 
I got $10 came in four different ways. <laughs> Going twice. And sold. Hold on one second. Stand by. Little technical issue to deal with. Oh, I can't reach my keyboard. Hold on. Stand by, everyone. I don't have access here to type. Okay, they'll get that. Okay, we're good. Did that ever come back? Yes. Oh, no, it's not back. Hold on. Stupid phone, you guys. I, I, I'm i sorry. I got to get my phone and make sure that I can get a call. See, okay, it's starting again. We're good. Whew. So much more. Oh, Roylene got it for $15. And what's my next? Eagle. Okay. Rachel actually found this one. This was a Rachel find. I forget what store this was at. It was at your friend's store. It was at my friend's store. The one in California. My friend in California. The one where we got the mouse. Oh, Yermo! In Yermo! I'm thinking San Diego. I'm like, I don't have a I don't have a friend with a store. Okay. This came from Yermo, California. Oh my gosh, you guys, real quick. Uh, we got invited out to their home. That, so those who follow my road trips know I go through Yermo, California to go to the Thrift and More thrift store that's in Yermo. Yermo is like a little one horse town, like little, little teeny tiny little town. And so the uh, owner's wife wrote a book about a rescued Clydesdale. And he says, well, you know, uh, I can arrange for you to meet Clyde. So we got to meet Clyde, got to go out to their home, their beautiful home. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, their home is like a museum of incredibleness. And we got to go inside and take some pictures and stuff. I'll be sharing that on Monday, sharing more about it. But okay, so this came out of the Yermo store. I should have been showing you this so you could be bidding while I was telling that story. But ah, like I said, I'm not real on it today. So we've got the bald eagle with the baby little... Eagle it's no, nope. just cancel that one. And this is also a it's an Anesco day. This is a 1987 Anesco. There you go. And it is like that porcelain, uh, like the matte porcelain. Ah, oh, Yermo, that, that store is fantastic. <laughs> like you gotta go to Yermo. You just gotta go to Yermo if you're on the 15 between Vegas. And LA or San Diego or wherever in California, go to Yermo. Stop in Yermo. Plus, there is a gas station there called Eddie World that has like every candy and snack and scrumptiousness you could ever imagine finding. So it's a great place to stop. It's just outside of Barstow. Just outside of Barstow. All right. Uh, bisque pottery. I would guess you would call it a bisque pottery. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, we're at $15 with Lorraine. I am at 15 with Lorraine. And we're going once. And we're going twice. And sold. Glasses. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's my soul. We got $16 to Lorraine. All right. I just, what? I'm sorry. Lois, Lois, Lois. See, they're all L's. I saw the L. Thank you for correcting me. I just thought these were super pretty. Now, I'm sure they originally, oh, and I didn't get all the label schmoze off. Um, I'm sure these had a, a decanter and everything that was a set originally, but what these are, let me just hold one, is they are silver overlay 
on that cobalt blue that you see there, like all of that is silver and the bottoms are silver and they're just really, really pretty. So you're getting a pair of them and we are starting them at $1. You could put air plants in them. <laughs> I got a sneaky fox at $8. I like, I like that you don't start at $1 because we can get through a lot more stuff not starting at $1. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. I wish I could have found the whole set. Now that probably was spectacular. I'm kind of hoping that I didn't. I'm like, I'm thinking now, like, did I have the whole set? And I just found two little glass. I really hope that's not the case. But if it is, I'll keep track of who wins these and you get first dibs if I find more. How's that? All right. $12 with Sneaky Fox. $12 with Sneaky Fox. And we're going once. See, I'm going to whip through these today. And we're going twice. And sold. Okay. Oh, what? I will stuff. Oh. I moved around on this shelf, apparently. I don't see the ducky in there anywhere. Really? Yeah, he's coming up. Yeah. You've seen similar ones that were in Poli. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like that's going to Maria Marsh at $15. There we go. All right, we have a doorstop. So he's got beanies down in the bottom. He's a cute little owl. He is by Elements. You can see he's got his original tag still attached with all his little care instructions. I'll show you. He was $24 new. He was $24 new. And we're going to start him at $1. He's still got original tags. Original tags. Does anybody hold their doors open anymore? <laughs> he sits on a shelf very nicely. Where's all my owl lovers today? Where's, where's Deborah? She usually buys all the owl stuff. All right, I got Sneaky Fox at $9 on the Owl doorstop. We're at $9. We are at oh, $12 with Roylene. I've got 12 with Roylene, 13 with Lois. I got 13 with Lois. And we are going to count them down in just a moment. Going once. Going twice. It's kind of therapeutic, like <laughs> crunching on his little beanies on the bottom. And we're going to call him Soul. Your cat. And the winner is. Roylene again. Roylene for the win at $15. All right. Do I have any meerkat lovers? Do I have any uh, resellers of plush? I did get this one to resell in my plush store, but I am up to my eyeballs in plush right now. So I thought, you know what? I bet somebody here would really like a vintage meerkat. So he is vintage. And he, oh, no, I didn't show this one to you, did I? Uh-oh. Rachel's like, I, I want a vintage meerkat. You have so many stuffed animals, girl. He is a 1989 Determine Productions, is what his little tag says, from San Francisco, California. There you go. There's his tag. So he's an oldie. He's an oldie but a goodie. And we are at $6. $8 with sewing dev, $7.28. We are at $8. $9 with Sneaky Fox. $9 with Sneaky Fox. $10 with Barbara Phillips. $10. Are we all in, all done? We're going to start counting them down. Going once. Going twice. 
and we're going to call him. You don't want him because meerkats eat chickens. I don't know. It sounded good, didn't it? No, yeah. <laughs> she says no, they don't. And we're going to call him Soul. Chickens are bigger than meerkats. What's next? Glass sherbet. Oh, I forgot my black lights. Darn it. Oh, there's our sold. That's going to Sewing Dead 728 for twelve dollars. It's in your purse. I know what my purse isn't in here. It's okay. I can get it. No, it's okay. I just need to check and see if I missed that message real quick. Not yet. Okay. Okay. They will fight a fox. Oh yeah. They're pretty fearless. Okay, we have. If you watched my swap meet journey last time I went to San Diego, you would have seen that my daughter picked up two of these uranium sherbets and she left this one behind because it didn't match. Well, I scooped this one up because uh, even a single uranium glass piece is a good seller. So it does glow. I will guarantee it glows, but I didn't bring my black light in here. It's in my purse. Um, but this absolutely glows. And there is the design. We'll be done bidding on this by the time you will get back, Rachie. It's all good. They know it glows. Is they know it, it glows. Safe to drink from glass? Yes, it is safe to drink from the uranium glass. The uranium does not leach out. It was dangerous for those who were making the glass. And we have some bidding coming in. I'm just trying to see who was the first one in with that $12. Looks like Kathleen Dumas was the first one with the 12. I got Jeannie for 15. It is a green. It is a green. It's the green uranium glass. Not Vaseline glass, which is like creamy yellow color like Vaseline. I've got $15 with Kathleen Dumas. I'm sorry, $16 with Barbara Phillips. Ooh, it's going fast. 17 with Jeannie. I got 17 with Jeannie's Galleria. $17. Going once. My poor little nails. Going twice. We're going to call this one so there's a goose. That's a duck. It's a goose. It's a duck. It it's a goose. It's a duck. Okay, we're going to let them decide in just uno momento. There we go. Sold to Jeannie for $20. Sorry, Barbara. Didn't get in there before the sold. And if anybody thinks that their comment was above the sold or you were before somebody else, please refresh so that you'll see it in real time because YouTube is always going to show you your comment first. Again, it's a weird YouTube algorithm thing, but if you refresh, then you'll see it. Oh, Mary Spry was the first at 20. I'm so sorry. I called that wrong. Hold on. Can you scroll back up for me? Let me just double check. Just my computer. Oh, see, Mary, like this is why we say don't put any other words or anything because we don't know if you were bidding. We don't know if you're bidding it. Again, mm, hold on. Stand by. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't. Yes. Okay, Jeannie said it's okay. Okay, because I was going to open it back up, but Jeannie says it's okay. Okay. Yeah, so Mary, just. Just type your bid in. Don't put any other words. Everybody, don't put any other words because, see, we can miss them that way. All right. Is it a duck? Is it a goose? I do know it's got a blue bow and a blue hat, and it is a vintage piece. Uh, there's a 1992 lightly scribbled there on the bottom, um, but I can't make out the mark. See, there is a mark but I can't make it out. Maybe you guys know what that mark is, but it is the blue goose. And it is, 
It is a bisque porcelain. Is it a duck? Is yeah. it a goose? It's a duck. And if you're watching the this, you know, on the replay, please put your your vote in the comments. Is it a duck? Or is it a goose? The neck isn't long enough to see goose. goose. Everybody's saying goose, 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 goose. <laughs> and was it? He quacks me up. <laughs> yes. Okay. I. You know. I see why you think it looks like a duck, but a duck. It's a goose. Duck. They're all saying goose. Duck. All right. Do we have a bid? We have a six dollar bid. We have a six dollar bid on the cute little. Can we call it a a gook? <laughs> uh, a deuce? It's too long and their beaks are old. A guck? <laughs> that almost makes for some really bad words. I <laughs> gotta, gotta be careful there. All right, seven dollars with Lois. I got seven with Lois. All I know is they're really, really collectible. These vintage, the vintage duckies. He has a duck bill. I'm with Rach. Okay, well, there you go. You're getting some votes. Getting some votes. Oh, it's a deuce. <laughs> um, where's my bid at? Nobody likes him. Nobody <laughs> likes him. Oh, Deborah. Well, I've only sold one owl. It's a duck. All right. I, I think it's supposed, I think it was made to be like a goose, but who knows? Because that was like the thing in the 80s. But hey, you know, who knows? Anybody can tell me where my bid's at because I don't have a mouse to scroll up. But I am going to count them down. Going once. Yes, I have more, Deborah. Going twice. And we're going to call this one So Got it. What's after that? Uh, I will not be here. No, what's after that? Cedar bot finale. Pottery bunny. Okay. All right. Oh, I was going to fix the bunny. You never did fix it. Oh, I was going to have you fix something you else. You didn't get me the stuff to I fix I was going to have you fix something else, but. So that's going to be a little oopsie. All right. Sold to Lois for $9. I thought we were keeping the bunny. All right. Check out this really, really pretty. Now, I don't know if this is. A Talavera or a Tanala or what it is because I haven't really seen the blue and white but it is Mexico right there you can see no mark on the bottom uh, it is glazed on the inside as well as the outside it was probably made for the tourist industry but it's really really pretty where's my measuring where is my ruler do you see my ruler anywhere it got moved. Everything got moved from my trip. So I don't have my ruler handy. It's yay big. <laughs> it's that big. All right. I've got $10 with Sneaky Fox. I got $11 with Maria Marsh. Can you measure it with it? No. Is it in the first drawer there? In the top drawer? Okay. Yay, that's where I put it. It is, it is 11 inches tall. 11 inches tall. Um, got $15 with Maria Marsh. Sorry, I don't normally check my phone during these things, but um, if you were here at the beginning, you know why I'm checking. All right, that was not the, not the text I was waiting for. I got $15 with Maria Marsh. And we're going once. We're going twice. 
and we are calling this one so he got a good buy there let's see who our winner is there's our sold lowest got it for $18 I would list that piece on eBay for about 40 so there you go if you're doing the resale thing you're gonna find some deals today okie dokie am I on the right one yeah we have a vintage owl napkin holder check him out you mean he's got a little he needs a little I don't like to do any kind of cleanup on this stuff because I'm so afraid I'm gonna do damage because you guys are so much smarter about what to use how to use it it's not my forte uh, so I sell stuff as is, where is, and you guys get to clean it up and get the uh, benefit of getting a little bit lower price because of that, I'm sure. So we got this cute little guy. So 60s, 70s he is. It's plastic. <laughs> Sneaky Fox is being funny today. I've got $10 with Sneaky Fox. Or a letter holder. He could be a letter. You know what? He is a letter holder. He's not a napkin holder. He's a letter holder. You're right. Because a napkin holder would have been equal. Thank you for that, Barbara. So he's a letter holder. We'll go with that. And we got $12 with Deborah. Yep. I misspoke. I do that sometimes. I think in my one of my most recent videos, this little part here is, is raised, embossed on there. In one of my recent videos, I called uh, egg cozies, I mean, I egg coddlers tea cozies, because that's what my brain does sometimes. Okay. $12 with Deborah going once, going twice, and sold. Funny. You gotta wait. See the final bid come in. There's the soul. Roy Lean's getting that for $13. Our next item up for bid. All right, everybody said go back and get that bunny. So I went back and got the bunny. Uh, he was still there. This is the pottery bunny, the ceramic bunny. I'm gonna show you just why I didn't pick him up the first time. It's because he's got a little chunk out of his head. So he needs a little hat or some flowers or I know I was going to get Rachel some stuff to like, life I just, still do it if Rachel is still willing to do something there if you want. All right. It is marked WCL on the bottom. WCL. There's, there's his bottom. And there's that bunny. He is a large bunny. He is, he is nine and a half inches tall. This bunny is nine and a half inches tall. Oh my gosh. His ears are just so cute. He really is adorable. All right. I've got $8, $8 with sneaky Fox, 15 with Maria Marsh. I have got 15 with Maria Marsh. Wait, he's not as heavy as you would think he would be. Uh, if he was shipping all by himself, it would be a two pound package. I've got $20 with Thrifting Vegas. $20 with Thrifting Vegas on the cute bunny. He needs a sun hat. Yeah, you know, he just needs a little something on his little, on his little bald spot, we'll call it. It's got a bald spot. <laughs> I got 25 with Judith. 25 is with Judith. We are going to start counting them down. So get those bids in. I got Maria Marsh at 26. Let's count them down. Going once. Going twice. Can you hold him up there for a second for me, Rachel? Like, you got to stretch your arm over here. I'll be right back. Give him time to get those last second little bids in. 
Sorry about that. Thank you, honey. And we're going to call him Soul. Okay, that's my next three. Uh, cedar box, bull and cow figurines, California pottery. Got it. And then elephants. And what? Elephants. Oh, okay. Then we go into the choice. Okay. Got it. And the winner is, I believe, did Warren end up with that? Warren Hart for $35. Thank you so much. Thank you for making him worth going back for. Okay. Some of you may have seen me pick up this. All right. I think I talked about this on, on one of my hauls or lives or something because I think I got this out of an auction. So it's a really pretty cedar box. Before you start bidding, let me show you what happened. So when I opened it up originally, I did notice there was a crack on the bottom but it was even. And what happened was I left it out where it got hot and it warped a little bit. So that either needs to be replaced or somebody told me that you can wet this and bend that back on there. So I always knew that the inside could be lined with something and you wouldn't see the crack. Um, but now it's going to be uneven if you line it. So I just want you to note that and note the fact that the top little, it's like a, a transfer on there. It's not painted because you can see the scratching and how it's peeled. So that's peeled off just a little bit. So it's one of those TLC projects. It's old. It's definitely old. It's got its original little store tag right there. You can see WT, what does that say? WT. Whoosh, let me find it again. There we go. WT Grant Company is the original tag. So, so it's a project box. It's a project box. I got $10 with Mary Spry. There's your hinges on the back. A little scratch there. But look at those handles. How cool are those handles? Almost has an Art Deco kind of flair to it. All right, I'm at $15 with Jeannie. 15 with Jeannie. Hey, Tiger. 15 with Jeannie. We're going once. We're going twice. And so. Now, hopefully, you can give it some love and restore it. Oh, it looks like Angie Powell came in for the win. Let's just make sure we have Angie's email. My chat goes slow and then you Oh, you got lag over there? No, yours just shows it in real time. In the I know, so said you got lag over there. Go ahead. <laughs> it, it's no, there's no email. Oh, we don't have okay we don't have her email oh Roylene got it for 17 all right so all good so I hate not having a mouse to scroll up scroll me up scroll me up scroll me up scroll me up a little bit whoop so Angie I had to remember your name Angie you must send over an email with your real name your YouTube name just as it's showing up over here in the chat and your zip code in order to bid and have your bids be counted okay um, we really count on that. Can you get me down to the, thank you. <laughs> All right. We have a pair. I need to see the description on this because I looked these up to figure out who they were. They are Rio Hondo. I have a pair of Rio Hondo California pottery bull and cow figurines. Sit about. Um, let me show you. They both have some crazing. So you can see he's got He's got crazing kind of throughout, but other than that, his paint is really good, and there's no chips or cracks on him. 
And the cow, let me just double check the cow one more time. No, cow's good. Cow has crazing, but no chips cracks and all the paint is there, which is the first thing that normally wears off on these is that paint. I've seen several of these with the paint like all worn off. So you get the, the bull and the cow. They are Rio Hondo, California pottery, very vintage, very collectible. And I've got $8 with Carla C came in first. Yeah, he's is he winking? Is he kind of winking at her? Like, oh, 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 mama cow. Oh, I see you. I see you. Do you only have like, oh no, he's got look at those eyelashes. These are quite some eyelashes for a bull, right? Holy moly. All right. We got $15 with Maria Marsh, 16 with Jersey Gypsy Corner Store. And the bull is up to something. Aren't they always up to something? I'm just saying. Okay. Zoe Small is at 20. Zoe, that's a new name. Zoe Small? No, it's not. It's not? Uh, I don't think so. It's, I'm not remembering it. Okay. $22 with Maria Marsh. Looks like they bought stuff. Oh, okay. Never mind. Zoe's good. Um, sorry, Zoe. It's my brain today. 25 is with Zoe. Yep, we got gotcha. you. I'm sorry. Short memory. It's funny because Zoe is her uh, one of her horse trainers names. So it was like, it's a very familiar name to me, but that's why I was like thinking, ah, it's in a name that's been in here before. But I got gotcha. you. All right. We have... I'm not sure what Pickled Tink is saying, but hi, Pickled Tink. <laughs> Who's there? They, I'm thinking about going very, in. oh, you're talking to Katie. Gotcha. Rio Hondo always has the best eyelashes. Yeah, that is true. All right, $31 with Zoe Small. We're going once. We're going twice. And sold. Getting the whole herd up here. Okay, now this is a choice. So we tried this on the jewelry sale and it went quite well. So we're going to try it here. I have, uh, looks like the winner is Maria Marsh. Oh, and I hate to miss those bids. Oh, Diane, how are you? You know, obviously, I want to get as much money as possible for the Niche Foundation. So it kind of, pains my little my little heart when i see those bids keep coming in after the sold so this is why we do the countdown be sure you're getting your bids in before i call that final sold all right the next item okay, as i was saying so we're going to do what's called a choice lot i'm going to show you some salt and peppers you're bidding on one set, but if you are the high bidder, you get to pick which one or ones you want. And then we kind of ask the underbidders if they're interested and so on. So um, hopefully it goes well in this sale too, because that worked really well in the jewelry sale. So your first ones to choose from are, now, the key is when you are the winning bidder, be ready to tell us which one or ones you want. So here we go. The first choice is this elephant. Check him out. He actually is. He is salt and pepper, but he's just all in one right here. He is simply marked Japan on the bottom, and he is missing this cork. Got one cork missing this cork. He is really spectacular. Like his little pink in his ears. He has some crazing, but that's that's choice number one is the standing elephant. Choice number two are the seals who are made by Norcrest. And they have their original stickers on the back right there come on camera 
play nice. There we go. Norcrest, Japan. Uh, one has its stopper, the other does not. And these are uh, from Pure Point Landing, Long Beach. He's got a sticker on. If you didn't want that sticker on there, it'd be really easy to take that off and then they would just be a cute little pair of seals. So that's choice number two. Choice number three. Do I have it right? Uh, yes. So these, I'm not sure. Hold on. There is a mark, but I'm not exactly sure who uh, makes them. But the little kissing, little kissing salt and peppers do really, really well on eBay. Oh, wait. She has a tag on the back. Something. Oh, wow. National. Oh, yeah, that's a it's a long name. They're made in Japan, but she's got her sticker. But where am I? There we go. It's really, really hard to read. I wish the camera would pick it up so you could see it. Maybe. Oh, there we go. There's the sticker. OK, so that's choice number three. Choice number four. Now, my first thought was that these were Shawnee, but ah, the colors don't match the Shawnee ones that I'm finding. So I don't know who done these, but they are piggies. They are missing their stoppers, but you've got the little vintage piggies. They might be American bisque, actually. That's choice number four. And last but not least, it's the other elephants, right? Yeah. Is the little trunk up elephants like so they are missing their stoppers they are marked japan like so they've got really long tails for elephants i must say so again you're bidding on one set you can buy one or five or two or however many just be ready to say which one you want hold on because Oh, okay. All right. So we have to make a, a decision. She can't come until tomorrow morning. Okay. Mom's still your dad. Sorry, guys. The, the text came in. All right, we are at $28, Barbara Phillips. Your bid is for one set of either Mr. Standing Elephant, the seals, the kissing boy and girl, the piggies, or the sitting elephants. Oh, we've got Warren Hart at 29. Warren Hart at 29. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. And sold. Now here's where it gets tricky. Oh, she did you seriously just make a flower out of this is how talented my little girl is. Look at she just made a little flower out of a candy foil. You're amazing, Rachel. You're simply amazing. Okay. You are simply amazing. All right, Warren, which one or ones would you like for your winning bid? Warren takes the kissing boy and girl. Warren takes the kissing boy and girl. All right. Who was my backup bidder? Who was the backup bidder? 
Um, who at 28? Barbara says, okay, so that was the one you wanted to, Barbara. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and who was before Barbara? Okay. Lois is at, okay. I'm going to run them. I'm going to run them one more time, guys. Just the four that are left. Um, just cause there's a big gap between 21 and 29. So, uh, Lo, okay, Lois, if you would like a set for 20, anybody else? Okay, so Lois, you're going to get first choice at the $29 before I run them again. Let's do it that way. So I've got elephants, I've got a seal, and I got the pigs. Lois, which one did you want? Which one would you like? What do you mean your feed is way ahead of where I'm up to? I'm not sure what that means. You can't be ahead of me. Which the 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 standing elephant, this one, the, the two piece elephant, because there's two sets of elephants. I mean, there's the set of elephants. You know what I mean? You want this one, Lois? This one, this one. I like that one. That one's cute. I guess this is going a little slower than I thought. So. Yes. Okay. She takes it. Anyone else want either the trunk up elephants, the seals or the pigs for $29 before I run them again? Anybody wants one? Speak now or I'm going to run them again. I like the seals. I'm going to run them again. Let's just run them. In. Let's start them. Let's start them at $5 though. I mean, you could start at $1 if you want, but you know what I mean? Let's, let's try to go fast so we can get through more stuff. So we got the seals, the pigs, and the little elephants. Let's get them going. Let's get them going. It seems to be quite a delay in today. Thank you, thank you, Jamie. At 15, I got Jamie at 15. I got Jamie at 15. Just helps us get through faster. Hi, Sue. Good to see you. $16, Sue Golombeski. Got sixteen dollars with Sue. I don't know what to do. Twenty dollars with Diane. Diane, you'll get your choice if you're the winning bidder. The bid is twenty dollars with Diane Weaver. I don't know what to put for the price with Lois. What? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty one dollars is with Sue Golombeski. I'm at $21, going once, going twice, and sold. And there's the soul. So I've got Sue Golombeski is the winner. Sue, would you like the pigs, the elephants, or the seals? Pigs, elephant, or seals? Just waiting for her to make her choice. She wants the seals. Wants the seals. $26. All right. And my backup. Did you want either the elephants or the pigs? I've got elephants and pigs left and the bid is 26. Bid is 26. Otherwise, we're just going to set these aside. Any interest? In the elephant, I thought you guys for sure would want these elephants. Who knew? Jamie, were you, was it the uh, seals you were also going for too? Or are you interested in either one of these? I know I gotta wait, I gotta wait for the leg. 
Okay, Maria, I see you post 26, but what are you bidding on? Everybody wanted the seals. Okay. I like the Maria, what were you interested? Oh, Maria wants the elephants for 26. Maria's going to take the elephants for 26. You got it. All right, nobody wants the pigs. They won't take it personally. It's okay. We will just set them aside. Unless anybody wants to just throw me an offer out. I don't know. I, I know. Is that dangerous for me to do that? I'm taking offers on the pigs. Like, I'm just taking offers on the pigs. If I see an offer that looks good, I'm going to take it. How's that? We'll play that game. Any interest in the little pigs? The little vintage piggies? Anyone want them? Roylene, you got them for 15. That's the number I was looking for. All right, Roylene got the piggies for $15. Bye. Woo! Okay. Let me see what I got next. Oh. Okay, that lot is done. Done, done, done. Done, done. Sold. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That's a donkey. I think he's a donkey, isn't he? Or a horsey. Okay, he's a horse. He's a horse. Oh, you're right. Well, okay. I'm just a noob. Okay. We have this is Twin Winton. Twin Winton. Very vintage. Yes. Rachel spot. I missed this and Rachel spotted it at the swap meet. Um, it, it says Twin Winton on the bottom. Down there. You can see that there. It's going to try ever so. It's got its stopper even. Now, this would have come in a set, but it's a super big shaker. Uh, Twin Winton is known for some really spectacular cookie jars. It is seven inches tall. Seven inches tall for this shaker. Could, would make a good, I don't know if you could use it for a sugar shaker, but you could. He is fun. He's super fun. And we have a $15 high bid right now with Zoe. 16 with Deborah. I've got 16 with Deborah Heinbecker. He's got a little old label schmooge on his butt. That would come off. $20 with Zoe. I'm at 20 with Zoe. Could use for baking soda. You totally could. Yeah, you totally could. Or he could just be a cute sit about on the shelf. All right, we're at 20 with Zoe. Go at once. I got Sneaky Fox at 22. We're keeping the countdown going, going twice. That means the next thing that I am going to say is, notice I'm trying to count out the lag in my head before I say sold. All right, I have to, to type in my address somewhere, but they can wait. Uh, what's next? Oh, oh, more cuteness. See, I told you it was going to just be vintage cuteness today. Kathleen Snavely for $24. Has Kathleen bought from me before? Yes. Yes, okay, we're good. I got your information. No, okay, I got your information. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. I call them mice. What is wrong with me? Those are not mice. Those are bunnies. Can you fix the spreadsheet and make it say bunnies instead of mice? Oh my goodness. My bad. My bad. And Melissa's just copying and pasting my mess up. But yes, these are <laughs> a trinket box and they are vintage Lefton. Left in China with a sticker and their stamp on the bottom. Oh, so cute. Thank you, Melissa, for fixing that. Cute little bunnies in a bed. Cute little bunnies, bunnies in a bed. And we have $16 for Kathleen Dumas. $16 for the left in bunnies in a bed. 
$20 with Nancy Kell. I got Nancy came in first with that 20. I saw 20 come in four more times there. But I am at $20 with Nancy Kell. Nancy Kell got the 20. We're going to start counting them down. Joyce Hegelson at 25. That's a new name to me. 25 with Joyce. Going once. Going twice. Yep. Okay. Good. And sold. And what's after that? Oh, we're doing more of that. Ah, the antique mall's calling you guys. Mom, don't let it ring. It's going to get you a copy. Oh, I know it is, huh? Hello? Oh, and it is never price. Um, I think the towel was probably 12 to begin with, so half off. Okay, it's fine. When you have a booth and the antique mall calls, you have to do it because they're trying to get a price on something. So just made a sale. Yay. <laughs> this is not my normal day, you guys. This is just not my normal day at all. Okay. Let's go. How about a doggy? How about a really, really cute doggy? Now, this dog is no ordinary dog. This dog is a vintage dog. Oh, he's got a little bird on his tail too. And he is by Bella Casa V. Sumner by Yans. There you go. There's his little mark on the bottom. And he's just a little goofball. He's got little spots on his butt too, in case you didn't notice that. So he's a little dog that's got little spots on his butt and he's got a bird. He's got lots of detail. And we are at $12 with Sneaky Fox and the tongue. That tongue is to die for right there. <laughs> I'm just me. I'm just me. All right. I got $20. Oh, is, I think, is Maria first with the 20? Did I think? Okay. I, Brie, right? This has been a weird week. Just a weird week. Bird be oh, 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 okay. Everybody who's bidding, you're right. I did not notice that the little bird beak, little bird beak has a boo boo. I did not notice it. So, if you want to retract your bid, please let me know if you want to retract your bid because there is a boo boo on the bird beak. Thank you, Decor and More. Thank you, CLC. What Thank you for name? spotting that. It's a clay, a resin. We don't really have time before it needs to ship out. Oh. Let's see. So Maria, you did you are you still at 20 even with that little bit of damage there? Because I did not notice that. I'm waiting for my chat to catch up. Let me know if you'd like to retract your bid. She still wants to bid. Okay. So we're at $20 on the Bella Casa dog. $20 going once, going twice, and sold. All right. I'm going to turn my next. Am I doing four sets or five? It's one, two, three, four sets. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate this time. Oops. And oh, Diane Weaver came in at 25 on that one. Came in at 25. I think it's warmer in Tennessee today than it is here. It is not a very nice day here in Vegas today, I gotta tell you. Okay. Uh oh. Barbara, I think you're behind. Is everybody like it? There's a weird lag thing going on today, I think. All right, 
We're going to choice some salt and peppers again. Only four this time. Only four. Okay. We have the owl. These are made of wood. Um, I don't even know. Oh, the tops must screw off. Okay, so there's no stoppers because they're carved from wood. So the little heads come off in order to fill them. I got it. I got it. So we've got the owl, wooden owls. Okay, these guys are just bougie. I'm just saying right now, come on. Rhinestone eyeballs. Rhinestone eyeballs. Look at them. Chipmunks, I do believe. Maybe. Or little bears. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody wrote San Diego to... Looks like 200. I don't know. And I don't know if that would come off, but you need to know that that's on there. That's like written, I think, with like a Sharpie on there. Who would do that? That's just sacrilege. Then why would you write it on the front and not on the And back? then we've got some little donkeys, some very, very vintage donkeys, missing their stoppers, but made in Japan. So we got those. And the fourth choice are these spectacular little fantail goldfish. Come on. Apparently they say San Diego Zoo. Oh, they say San Diego Zoo? Oh, well, then that would make sense. <laughs> okay. Thank you. But these fish, come on, these fish. And they have their stoppers. And they are marked. Oh. Whose mark is that? I don't know whose mark is that. Anyway, that's the that's the mark. That's the mark. All right, it's your choice. You're bidding on one set. Your choice. Did you show the donkeys? I did show the donkeys. I got thirty dollars with Warren Hart. Thirty dollars is the high bid with Warren. I am going to count them down. Going once. Chicky mugs. <laughs> Going twice. All in, all done, because they are sold. I don't know if they're Holt Howard. I don't know if that's a Holt Howard mark. I don't know. I don't know. But they are pretty spectacular. I do, I do love them. I do love me some fantail goldfish. All right, Warren, which one or ones would you like? I suspect since the bidding started early that these owls are probably going to be one of the first to go. Which one or ones would you like? Be ready, be ready, be ready. Also, backup bidders, let me know which ones you were going for. Why is it going to Warren Hart? The goldfish and the chipmunks. The goldfish and the oh. chipmunks. Good choices. Good choices. All right, my backup bidder. Who was my backup bidder before the sold? Who is my backup bidder before she called sold? What are you doing? I got um Roylene. Roylene was no, yeah, Roylene was back up at 26. Roylene, did you want either the donkeys or the owls? I've got donkeys and owls. And then um my backup after that was oops. Sorry, because we're multitasking over here with the keyboard. Um, and Zoe. And Zoe, Zoe, you would get the next choice. Broiline. What is Warren saying no to? For no, her high bid was 26. I don't have my mouse. I can't scroll up. And Rachel's not really catching on here. Girlfriend. <laughs> Don't keep 
Yeah, Zoe and Roylene were both at 26, but Roylene came in first. Just hit the new comments down. Just thank you. She wants them both. Roylene's going to take them both. All right, that solves that. What's next? Blue pottery. Okay. All right, I have another piece. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So my first inclination that was that this was also Mexican pottery, but I cannot find, I'm still looking, I cannot find the little Mexico signature anywhere on it. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's got that same cobalt blue. It does have a lid. Now what I just noticed was there's a little smudge of the paint right there. Got a little paint smudge going on. And uh, that's a little weird. It's not, it's like it was made for the tourist industry. It's got some imperfections. It could even be a, oh, and I just noticed a chip. Darn it. I just noticed a chip on the lid. So there we go. It's clean inside. Still beautiful. Um, no mark on the bottom. There's your bottom. That's why we start them at $1. $1. And we are at, Rachel did not set up her Etsy shop yet. Can you guys like bug her? Tell her she needs to get it set up. You bug me enough about it. She says I bug her enough about it. She's had a lot going on. School's out this week. Then we can start getting things going. So we're actually homeschooling next year. And it's going to be part of her homeschooling is to manage her business. So she has extra motivation now. All right, $12 with Sneaky Fox going once. I'm already at 12, you guys. Going twice. And so. I know I, I needed you to fix one and I totally totally with everything going on I forgot to have you do it okay small pandas this little panda family is made of glass there are three there's there's Papa Panda. Are they supposed to be holding something? There's Mama Panda. No. It's just how they little arm. And there's Baby Panda. They're all made of glass. They are marked on the back. They are made in China. They are Chinese glass. They are not high-end glass, but they are super cute. I'm showing you. I'm showing you a panda butt right now. <laughs> So there you go. You're getting the little family of three glass panda bears. Panda bears. They are cute. I wish I had a little platform to kind of hold them up here for me. Because of where I have to place the camera and I'm like, I feel like I feel like I'm all up in your face if I come up here. But if I don't get that close, then you can't see little cute little pandas. All right. I got Lorraine at $20. Lorraine, and they're pretty detailed for for such cute little things. All right, we're at 21 with Deborah. 21 with Deborah. Twenty one is with Deborah. Going once. Going twice. And sold. And there's our sold. Oh, it looks like Barbara came in at $23.
All right. What is next? Uh, the big panda. Oh, did I do him one? Okay. You said one repaired, but did you? Yes, we didn't. I, I have repaired in the, the description of the lot, and it can be repaired before I mail it, but I'm going to go ahead and show it as it is, as it stands right now. He doesn't stand, though. So, <laughs> This is another set of pandas. These are larger than the other ones. Let me show them one at a time. There's two of them that are like this and then one that's sitting up. So you've got this one and you can see much bigger than the last one. Still got its little same little sticker there. You got this one. So those two, nothing wrong with those two. They're in good shape. It's the sitting panda. It's got a sticker. There's this little bottom. This one needs his little leg put on. So if you watched when I bought these, they had them in a bag all together, no padding. So he did have a little casualty with his leg, which I am happy, happy to glue back on as he goes on his way to you. So he will have his leg. It's just going to have been repaired. So keep that in mind. This one is repaired. So two are good. One has to have a little surgery. All right. All right. So we are at 25 with Lorraine. 25 with Lorraine. We're going once. We're going twice. And so. So Rachel. Don't forget, we gotta we gotta do a little surgery before the night is through. What's next? Little critters. Oh. Little woodland critters. There's my soul. Those are going to Lorraine for twenty-five dollars. All right, I just got a cute little trio of little woodland. Look at what you can do with a pine cone. I'm just saying. Little woodland creatures. A it's a pine cone. Okay. As these nice. little guys. So we have the little bristle fox, and he's got a little hanger on there if you want to hang him up. So you've got the little red fox. You've got the little pine cone porcupine, which I think Rachel's getting inspired to make some. Not perfect. He's got a couple little things missing on there. But he's got the little bristle face too. And then this guy is who makes him? He's a uh, I don't even know who makes him. He's got his original tag here, but it just says this is not a toy, not intended for children, for decorative use only. And he's a little squirrel, a little squirrel wearing a wearing a scarf. So just a fun little lot. Can they cross border? I don't know why they couldn't. Because on the customs form, it's just going to say three animal figures. Just saying. Um, I got $9 with Barbara Phillips. Why, why wouldn't they be able to? Because of it being a natural material. We will not say that it's a pine cone, okay? I'm just saying. $9 with Barbara Phillips. Going once. Going twice. And so. What's next? Are you ready to tell me what's next? In person picture based. Oh. There's my soul going to Barbara Phillips for $11. Oh, Deborah, I'm sorry. Just that much too late. So close. Okay, I picked this up because it looks very Art Nouveau. Look at, look at the flowers on the bottom. It is a reproduction. Okay, I will tell you that right now. It is uh, made by the Franklin Mint. So it is a Franklin Mint reproduction of an antique piece, of an Art Nouveau piece. But I just thought, decorative-wise, it's so pretty, and you guys would like it. So we're starting it at $1. Okay. 
check what's going on over here while you guys are doing a little bidding. All right, we got 12, no, $8 with Sneaky Fox. Chocolate pot. It does look like a chocolate pot. What's a chocolate pot? I'm already at $8. It's a pot like this that you serve chocolate in, but it's much bigger. This is a miniature version. <laughs> could be used as a little creamer, could be used as a vase, could just be used as a nice little sit about. All right, I'm at eight dollars. Going once, or you can put an airplane. or you can put an airplant in it. Eight dollars is where I'm at. Going twice, and sold. What's this? It's choice, choice. Oh, and the rest of the salt and peppers. So I meant to look these up because I have a feeling. I have a feeling these ones are really, really good. I pulled some stuff out of my booth. It's like, oh, I got salt and peppers. I'm going to get the rest of my salt and peppers. So some of these came right from my antique mall booth. What was that? Noah. Is that Noah or is that something else going on out there? All right, I have to get. That's, no, I heard him come out of I have some tape stuck to this. Hold on, guys. Okay. So here's the. I'm going to show you what I think is the most valuable set, and this this is another choice lot of four different salt and peppers. Ah, uh, these are I've never seen these before. Look, look, they are the drive-through California redwoods, which I'm pretty sure the tree is gone. Didn't the tree collapse? Didn't something happen where this tree is gone now? I mean, it stood there for hundreds of years and now it's no longer. Look at the car going in, coming out. It's got the little car in the back. Missing one stopper. I don't know who makes these. They're not marked. Um, but I just thought those are amazing. Can and you replace stoppers? You can replace stoppers. Absolutely, you can replace stoppers. Then we've got, um, these are probably like a Noritake. They're not marked Noritake. They're just marked made in Japan, but they're that typical lusterware made in Japan. Apparently it burnt down. It burnt down? It burnt down? Oh, I never got to go through it. It was always on my bucket list. Never got to go through it. Here are some more. These are Japanese, but they've got seagulls on them, which I thought was really unique. The stopper, well, one stopper is inside. The other one's not. They're marked made in Japan. And then we've got the Salt Lake 2002 Olympics. And Olympics is, I don't know what's happening to the Olympics. They got their stoppers. Olympics is in the news a lot. It's supposed to be an Olympics year, but it may not happen. I don't know. Um, but there you go. So that's what you're bidding on. Your choice for one set. All right, you guys are doing a lot of talking, so I'm, I don't see bids. If somebody could update me if we have a bid, who's the high bidder? So we can keep moving. Where are we at? I'm just a wait. I thought I already had a bit higher than 10 though. So, okay. So let's scroll back up. Where's my bid? Jeannie's at 25. That's what I thought I saw. Jeannie is at 25. Hey, Nightmares Treasure. I'm so happy you're here, but if you could keep like the chit chat to a minimum because it makes it really hard for me to actually see the sale bids going on and then we don't get through everything. So appreciate you being here, but if we could, thank you. Um, all right, going once. 
I'm at $25 with Jeannie. I see 30 with Joan Griswell. 30 with Joan Griswell. I'm going twice. 33 is with Jeannie. I'm going to call them. Be ready. I know which one you want, but be ready anyway. Tell me which one you want. I'm going to call it sold. There's my sold. Oh, Joan got in for the 35. I'm assuming you want these ones, right, Joan? Just a, just a guess that this is your choice. Just a guess. Hello, hello. Hello, please, 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 guys, if you could just be ready to let me know your choice. My brain kind of like spins out when I have like all this space of time. Okay, so your bid would be times the money. So I don't, maybe you didn't understand that. You would have to, it would be $35 per set. You want all four sets at $35 each? I have a feeling maybe you didn't understand that. I just want to clarify. Yeah. And now we have somebody bidding. <laughs> and we're not even selling anything right now. I'm, I'm more and more thinking that I'm going to put more things at auction over on eBay and do it that way. Okay, we're good. I just I just wanted to be sure. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We super duper appreciate it. All right, what's next? Oh, is it? oh, it's the seal. Okay, and then the bluebird. Okay. All right. I got a cute little seal. I don't know who makes him. He's got those eyelashes going, though. Look at that. And he's on a little piece of, I want to say driftwood. That's what it looks like to me. Like a burl, burl driftwood. He is definitely vintage. Um, he's got some marks on the bottom, but nothing that clearly identifies him. It is a seal. It is a cute little seal. We're starting him at $1. Starting him at one dollar. Anybody want him? Anybody like him? There we go. Barbara's at one dollar. We don't have those persons either. Which one? Cooper. Cooper Mick. We do not have an email from you, so be sure if you want to bid, you send that over. Thank you, Rachel. I've got twelve dollars with Sneaky Fox. 13 with Kathleen Dumas. He is, he is, he's a, uh, I guess you'd call him like a biscuit. He's, he's not like a fine porcelain. He's kind of a coarse porcelain, um, but he is ceramic. He's, that's the word I was looking for. He's ceramic. Yes, he's ceramic. And he's mounted on driftwood. I'm at 15 with Sneaky Fox. 15 with Sneaky Fox. Count them down. Going once. Going twice. And sold.
And just waiting for my soul to come in. La, 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 la. Is there any oh, owls? hello, the owl lover. Is there any more owls? Um, no. They miss the owls. But there's other cute stuff. They All right. The artist lived in Galveston. Oh, we are confused. It's Friday. <laughs> All right. You guys love them. So I'll pick them up when I find them. This one's particularly cool because he has his original foil label that actually calls him a bluebird of happiness. Made in USA, Terra Studios with the phone number, Leo Ward, 1996. There you go. There's your little bluebird of happiness right here. We all need one. We all should have one. This is the one that you can have right here, right now. And we are at $15 with Barbara Phillips. I'm at $15 with Barbara Phillips. $20 with Deborah. I'm at $20 with Deborah Heinbecker. $20. I know I've never seen one with the foil either. That's what's like, whoa, that's always cool. Always cool. This person doesn't have the foil. I thought it would have the being Exit exit to red. We don't have your email either. Sorry, guys. One moment. Uh, why? Who invented auto spell check crap? Because <laughs> it never works for me. All right. I'm at 26 with Maria Marsh. Let's count them down. Going once. 27 with Deborah Heinbecker. Going twice. And I'm going to call him Sold. Oh, I love this so much. I love this so much. What? Ah, uh, there's my soul. It's going to Maria Marsh for thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, Maria Marsh. Yeah. <laughs> Autocorrect is straight from the pit of Bell. <laughs> oh, that's I, I needed the laugh. I needed the laugh. All right. I know some of you are getting those bids in late. Oh, just remember that if you want to pop up your bid, even though you're the high bidder. I will not let you bid against yourself. So if no other bids come in, I'm not going to take the higher bid, but it's a way that you can protect and make sure you get something that you really want. Um, okay. Ah, you guys are making me laugh. You guys are making me laugh. All right. We have this little tea set. Now, what makes this so spectacular, I'm not taking it. This is the way I got it in its original little, I don't know if it's original, but somebody did this. Uh, this, is incredible. These are eggs. These are real eggs. I don't know what species of bird, but there are six teacups and then there's a creamer, sugar, and teapot, all from eggs. They're all real eggs, you guys. Is that like spectacular? I love it so much. You can eat those for I know it's like the glare is yeah, super fragile, super fragile. Auto corrupt. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, I know this plastic is not doing it justice, but look, at, I just don't even know what the, the workmanship in that. Like somebody had to work and cut those little eggs in half, number one, to make the teacups. And then they had to like attach all the little pieces and parts. Oh. It's so cool. It's so cool. I see 30. Oh, quail. Are they quail eggs? I was wondering what kind of eggs they were. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you for that. We're kind of bird fanatics over here. You should see all of our bird feeders. And now I buy my bird feed by like the 10 pound bags and we fill them every two days because we are the neighborhood smorgasbord now. They're already out again. I know they're out again, but I make them clean up all their scraps on the ground before I fill them again because they're That's kind of messy. Job. I know. I, how do people do stuff? With, I don't know. I'm with you, Jamie. I, I just, I don't even know because I don't, I don't have this talent. I don't. All right. Yep. And they have to blow the eggs out first and oh, just incredible, just incredible work. All right. 35 with Sneaky Fox going once, going twice and so what's that? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. I can't find 50 pound bag of seeds. I guess I have to go to like a feed store. I've been at the grocery store and buying online because usually I'm like out and I'm like in a rush to get it, but I do need to think ahead and get like a 50 pound bag. You're right. You're right. Oh, Diane just missed that bid. Oh, and it pains me, pains me. I got to tell you, obviously I'd much rather sell it at 45 than 35, but it's the way we run it. The sold came in. We sold out for $35 to Sneaky Fox. How about a Roadrunner? We have a Roadrunner tile by K. Ritt, 1995. This is made in Tucson, Arizona. Surprise, surprise. Um, it's made like by Earth Tones. Calls it the Desert Clown. There's all of its little writing. And there's the artist right there, K. Ritt. And it is a Roadrunner. $10 with Bree. We saw a Roadrunner. Where did we see him? On the, on the way to their house. Oh, that's right. When we, like, I was telling you, we were going out to the couple's house in Yermo. That's right. We saw a roadrunner running, running across the road. Yes, we did. They're very, very rural. Uh, we're at $18 with Sneaky Fox. 18 with Sneaky Fox. I'm going to start counting them down a little faster so we can get through all this stuff. Going once. Going twice. And oh, they're the best. I love them. I love living in Tucson because of the wildlife. I got to tell you. And sold. Put you up here. This is a choice again. Uh, <laughs> uh, the moment many have been waiting for. There's my sold. Oh, and again, we just missed some bids. I wish I could figure, like, is it I'm not counting down long enough? Are you guys, like, trying to get the snipe bid in? Like, what? Help me figure out what's causing that. Because if I need to extend my count, I can do that. If you think that is what it is. But if you guys are, like, kind of holding off trying to get the snipe, that I can't. Because you're going to do that no matter when I count it down. So I just wish I knew. I just wish I knew. Oh, you guys are working. You guys are working stuff out. Yeah, she actually bid 45, but if you want to offer them to her for 36, I'm good with that too. Although for a dollar difference, I'm, I'm good with you keeping them, okay? Oh, Joni has less of a lag than us. Ooh. I can see where that might be a little bit of an issue. Yeah. Mm. So Joni, maybe you could like, before you type soul, count out a couple extra seconds because you're, you're hearing things quicker than others are. Uh, and we're kind of seeing that throughout the sale. So just to maybe even it up a little bit, if you could, like you hear me, but don't be too quick on the keyboard. Give it just that little bit extra that people are having the lag. Apparently you're not going once, going twice today. I have been doing that. 
Yeah, that's why I'm confused. I have been saying going Someone once, going twice. Who said that? Um. Who said that? <laughs> uh, I wait for the last 10 seconds on eBay auction. Yeah, well, that's the problem. Oh, but I am. I am going once, going twice, and I'm actually extending it, and I'm talking in between to extend it out. Like, when you hear me say going once, that is the time to get your bids in. Because if you have lag, like, by the time I've said going twice and sold, your lag might have caught up. So be sure you're getting your bids in when you hear me say, like, going once. Okie dokie. And I'm saying this now because we got the Cupid dolls coming up. And I know a lot of people want the Cupid dolls. All right. So, yeah. So, you wait until I turn around. Okay. Yeah. And if you guys, I mean, I mean, I get it. I got, I've gone to auctions. You want to pay as little as possible. But I don't want you to miss stuff, too, because you miss out on stuff and I miss out on money. So uh, we've got to find the happy balance here. Okay. Okay. Cupid dolls. This is another choice auction. So your bid is for one. So it'll be your bid. If you want more than one, it'll be times however many you want. Here are the choices. And again, if you are the winning bidder, be ready to pop right in there with one or ones that you wish to buy. So let's start. We've got the big one here. This is the large. Look at the face. Oh, my gosh. It's so pitiful. This is a large. And this one is a leptin, actually. You can see. Got the sticker down there. So this large one is leptin. Let me just look it over, make sure we got all our fingers and toes and ears. Yep, we're good. All good. No damage. And then next we have, I don't know who done this one. There is no sticker on this one. So this is the little sitting cupie. And this one's a little paler than like the left. And you can see the color difference. So... I do like that the new light bulb is actually showing true color on here finally. Not everything is all washed out. So we're going to call this one the sitting cupie. The sitting cupie. So we got the large cupie, the sitting cupie, the little couple, the little happy couple cupie. I don't, do cupies have wings normally? These cupies have wings. They have wings. What's up with that? These are marked. Jesco. Do they? Well, they have wings. I never knew Cupies had wings. I just learned something today. Cupie dolls have wings. Why are they called Cupie dolls? I don't know. Why are they called Cupie dolls? I don't know. Jesco. 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 Come on. Camera. You know what? You're really irritating me. There we go. Oh, it had it. It lost it. Jesco. I really hate my camera, you guys. I hate it. You'll have to trust me. It says Jesco 1993. Always blue wings. That's how you tell them from here. I had no idea. I had no idea. Okay, last but not least is our little piano. Our piano. I read piano. Phone. The little phone guy. Little phone guy. He's got a little smudge on his head, but I'm pretty sure that would clean off. He is also a Jesco that wanted to focus for like a second and then went away. Why? Why does my camera do that? Uh, he's a 1992 as well. So those are your choices. My bids are at 26. Is 26 Barbara Phillips? Is that my high bid right now? Now, I never knew that either, Jeannie. Like, I love it. I love it. Yes, lag is an annoying, annoying thing. Thirty-five with Diane Weaver. All right, 
I am counting them down. That is your signal to get your bids in because we're going once. I'm at 35 with Diane Weaver. That's where the bid is as I see it right now as I'm going twice. Now I've got Katie Vintage and Vinyl at 37. Diane Weaver came back at 40. This is what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm stretching it because I know you guys are actively bidding. But the next thing I'm going to say is I'm trying. I'm extending it. All you guys are like throwing your bids in now. I'm working it. <laughs> as, as, as long as that chat is moving, I'm, I'm going to hold my breath. Okay, I'm just going to hold my breath. It does help when you say out if you're out. It does help if you say out when you're out. All right. I'm just holding my breath. Just keep in mind, I've already done the countdown. So as soon as I see that chat stop moving, I am going to say... Sold. <laughs> All right. I think Di was Diane my winning bidder. You got to let me know which one or ones you would like. We got the large, the sitting, the phone, and the couple. There's our soul. Thank you, Joni. I think that was perfect. I think that was perfect. Now we just need the winner. Diane takes the couple. What was the, was $60. So winning bidder was $60. Takes the couple. All right, who are my underbidders? Who are my underbidders? Okay, so I need, so Jeannie, first of all, okay, do any of my underbidders want one at that $60 price? I got these three left. Or, okay, uh, okay, Jeannie, which one, which one would you like? Which one or ones would you like? She takes the big one, the large one. Judy takes the large one. Someone's asking why there's people putting periods in the chat. I don't know. Oh, that's just so they that they're helping me know that the chat is moving and it's not frozen. All right, this is what I got left. This is what I got left. I got the sitting and the phone. Anyone who want one for anybody? I love that. Anybody want one for 60? Anybody, anybody? Tell you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna run these two together. We're gonna run it one more time and we're gonna run these two together. So the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna combine those two onto one line. You know how to do that? You're gonna <laughs> let me get them started bidding and then I'll help you. Okay, you guys, let's start them again. You're getting the pair. This is not choice. This is for the pair. The little phone guy and the sitting one. 
together, one money, together, one money, two cupies together, one money. I don't, I don't know a lot about cupies. They say Jesco. 1992, Jesco is what the phone one is marked. This one is unmarked. I got 20 with vintage and vinyl. All right, so you're going to, oh, you did it. Look at you. You know oh, what you're doing. I did not do that. Oh, Melissa did it. <laughs> I it's okay, I'll give you credit for being, I'll give you credit for being smart. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> you're bidding on both cupies. You're bidding on both cupie dolls. I'm at 25 with Laura Peterson. 25 with Laura. I only copy pasted the. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. It's a, it's teamwork. I've got $30 with Katie vintage and vinyl. $30 with Katie. I'm loving your TikToks with the music. It's so cool. Bid like you mean it. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call them. So. Okay. Gotta wait and see. Okay. Let's get me. Remember, that's for both of them. Let's see what happens. $40 to Amy Gordon. $40 to Amy Gordon. No, I'm sorry, Katie. They went $40 to Amy Gordon. I'm so, I'll be watching for more Cupid dolls. I do run into them a lot. So Mama. I will... I will stay on top of it. Yes. You said we would keep it. I know, but he's not my style. It's okay. Like we can him. argue later. Like we can him. argue later. I like All right. Next is a pair. Oh, you get the dust for free. Enamelware utensils. This is like a a ladle. Is what it, it's very dusty. I've had this a long time. Um, I still have my uh, tags on them. I was selling this one for 15 and I was selling this one for 14. So putting them together, this is like a blue speckled granite ware, and this is just a spoon, but you're going to get them both. And we're starting them at a dollar. Uh, Amy, excuse me. I do not take bids after the sold. I do not. Once I call sold, it is sold. There are no bids taken after the sold. I don't know what you are seeing, but that is simply not what's happening. Not what's happening. What's happening is this, when I say sold, I'm watching for it to appear in the chat. And that's why I chatter a little bit. But I'm I, the bids are because I'm still seeing bids come in before it's announced in the chat. Yeah. Trust me. Like that, That's why we do it. Boy, we've been doing this. Since October of last year, they don't um, have an email either. and we and they, and and of course you haven't sent an email, so we don't need any negativity in the chat. So my moderators, you are welcome to take care of that. They are. I just don't have, I don't have time for it. Okay, let it go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who is wrong? What are wrong? My goodness, guys! You know what? I, I today is not the day to mess with me. I'm just I'm just saying. I have a spoon in my hand and I'm not afraid to use it. Cindy Mays doesn't have an email either. <laughs> the chat sold is what calls the winner, not my mouth. <laughs> All right. Anybody wants some utensils? Give me a dollar. Somebody give me a dollar for them. Come on.
Anybody? Anybody want these? We'll move on. You'd rather have Cupid dolls. I know, I know. There's the aging beginner. One dollar. All right. I'm going to count them down really quick. Somebody's going to get these super cheap. I got the aging beginner at one dollar. Go on once. No, it's at five. Ah, I see Deborah Labor at twenty. Thank you, Deborah. Go on twice. Somebody almost got them super cheap. You know, it's at twenty-one now, Mom. I'm going to call them. Bum, bum, bum. Sold. I'll just shut my mouth now. <laughs> Glass. I just won't say anything. I'll just get ready for the next item. <laughs> There's the sold right there. Going to Deborah Labor for $25. <laughs> okay, you're going to get not one, not two. But three pieces of green crackled glass all together. Now, remember, if you have spent $50 so far in the sale, remember, you get that shipping credit of $15. So now, now's the time to start factoring that in. If you see them, do you think, oh, that's a little on the heavy side? I'm just saying. All right. Let me show you. These two first. I don't know who the maker is. They're one of those companies that made these. Uh, I know they're not Blanco. They're not Blanco. They're probably like Rainbow or Kanawa. One of those. There's their Pontals on the bottom. Got that nice emerald green. They're the thicker, you know, the true vintage glass. And then this larger one here, he's got a little bubble occlusion in there. Um, it's like something stuck in the glass when they were cooling it. It's really weird. It's a little bump. But look at the crackling in this one. That's got some nice crackle going on there. There's your pontal. This one's got the little ribbony effect. Let me see how big it stands. You're getting all three. Um, we've got... About six inches tall on the large one and about four and three quarter inches tall on the two smaller ones. So there you go. I'm getting all three. I told you this. Oh my. Is, is that one gone now too? Yeah. I told you they were tall as well. Told you. I just can't with people. I just can't. Just see the comments like I get. You, you, kids, it's just amazing to me the ugliness that exists in our world today. I just keyboard warriors. Bring them on. Bring them on. I can take them now. It used to be a little. That's a, if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel and some of you are like got new YouTube channels, just get some thick skin because the ugly comes out when people can hide behind a keyboard. I'm just saying. Oh, Angela and Bree are on Troll Patrol. All right, you go, girls. You go, girls. <laughs> oh, right, Jamie. Right. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm telling you. Since I was on your account, I thought I could block people from. You should I, be able to. I can block them from typing and stuff, but I can't block block them. Why not? Because you have to go to their account, like their, their you YouTube shouldn't. page. What? I don't think so. You can hide them. Right. I can't block them. From it. I think after you put them in timeout, then you can go back in and do something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I think you have to go to their profile to block them. I don't know. It's hammer time. Yeah, it's all good. She'll still come. She'll still watch my videos. It's all good. That's what's so funny. The subscription count, that's only a number. It's really about how many people watch the videos. And people say, like, I'm unsubscribing, but they still come back and watch the videos. Like, why wouldn't you if you're getting content that helps you with your business? I'm just saying. 
Bree says you don't need to, Rachel. Okay. All right, we're at $30, $33 with Jeannie. That's for all three. We're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call them. If Debbie and Max go thrifting, do we have their email? Because I have not seen that one before. I'm just. And we just had a. I want to make sure we got a legit bid there. Yeah. Okay, good. We got you. We got you, Debbie. I said going twice, right? All right, okay. Let's just call these. Sold. Tell them they only have to send it at one auction. Yeah, you only have to send it once. If you sent it to me once, it's there because we don't delete them every time. So, all right, what's what's my next time? My turtle. Really, are you really going to be upset if I sell this? You're going to be super upset. All right, you guys, I have to pull this from the sale because. Rachel will not let me sell a turtle. I thought, I'm going to finally sell a turtle. No, Rachel's not. So be mad at her. Be mad at her. Don't be mad at me. Somebody would have bought it and given it to you anyway, because that's what they do. Is the fruit next? <sighs> All right. How about a little funky blown glass fruit? So whoever's marking. Yep. Thank you. We got that covered. Okay. I did, I did it. Okay, next. I have one uh, five pieces of cobalt blue glass fruit. I'm gonna show you one piece at a time. Here is what I would assume. Oh, and the pear is missing its little stem. So take that. Are these all damaged? Gosh darn. No, that's the pontal. That looks like that looks like the okay. I just know that's the top. That's the bottom, but there's no pontal there. So I'm wondering if that is where they just broke it off. Anyway, that's what it looks like on all three pieces. That's why I'm saying they can't all be broken. That's how they did the pontals on these. It's the tops. And then you've got the two zucchinis, which one's got a wire kind of thing coming out. This stuff is just weird, okay? It's old and it's weird. I don't know much about it. You're getting five pieces. It could be worth thousands. No, probably not. Jamie, that is so sweet of you. It is a rough day and she will now have that turtle in her room. <laughs> She's got a big smile on her face, which she never shows you. But trust me, it's there right now. All right, we got the fruit. I got 35 with Sneaky Fox. 35 with Sneaky Fox. Going once. I love this community. I got to tell you. Going twice. Oh, you changed the color of the thing and make it pretty. That's nice. And we're going to call them Soul. Oh, okay. You have a strawberry in the pontals on the top. Yeah, I just. And when they were all that way, it only made sense that that's how they're made. All right. Next. Did somebody call soul? She will. There it is. The, the ducks and plant. Oh, and then what's after that? The maiden. Okay, and what's after that? Five. Planters, okay. no, wait, not five. Planters, last dish. Gotcha. Oh, you know what? I have to withdraw that. It's That's going to be a giveaway. I'm going to give that one away at the end. Okay. Because it's got a boo-boo. And then the one after that is five glass rabbits. Okay. I'll rip it. Okay. All right. We are we are all lined up, ready I to go. Two, one. Oh, you what? I got it. Oh, okay, she's caught up. How about a little dachshund pulling a wagon? Come on now. I think he's a dachshund. I don't know. He may not be. He can be whatever kind of dog you want him. But to me, he just looks like he looks like a dachshund. Do you guys concur? Yeah, he's a dachshund. Is he a dachshund? Okay. He's pulling the wagon. Well, I thought maybe the back end would be sticking out in the back, but it's not. I don't know what I was seeing. But there we go. He's not marked. 
He's just a cute little vintage planter. Or he's a little beagle. Or he's a, or he's a beagle. He's a beagle or a dachshund. There you go. Whatever you want him to be. Do I see fat bird finds in the house? I see fat bird finds. You guys, they do the most fun thing on Friday nights called flipping and sipping. They sell a few things. They share a few things. They play some games. And it's a great community chat. Like, I highly recommend. Oh, let's see. It is, it's 7 o'clock my time. I'm, or no, is it 6 o'clock? What time do you start, Laura? <laughs> this time zone stuff, like, always messes me up. I think it's seven o'clock my time, right? It's pretty late for you guys. But it's every Friday night. Every, every Friday night. Oh, I'm so, okay, Orbel, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm, and I know I. we should probably email this. Israel is not allowing any packages in right now. So I'm afraid I just, I can't ship you anything. I still have your items from before. Um, so we'll need to talk through email about that. Yeah. 10 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so it is seven o'clock my time. It is seven o'clock my time. Seven for us. Got it. Got it. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Uh, we are at $14 with Maria Marsh. Or are we? Is that where we are? Dachshunds have a much longer nose. So maybe he's just like a generic doggy. I think he's a beagle. He's just a, he's whatever you want him to be. I think he's a beagle. But he's got the stubby legs. He does have stubby legs. I know. He's a, he's throwing me. The stubby legs. He's throwing me. Okay. So are we at 14? Is that where we're at? Going once. Going twice. And sold. Maybe it's a beagle dachshund cross. It's a it's a deagle. <laughs> it's a deagle. And a horse carriage. I'm just waiting for the sold to come in. There's my sold. There we go. Okay. But I don't know where the. Um, she'll announce it in a second. There you go. Maria Marsh for $14. That's why I have somebody announce it for you so that you can see. Because we get a little chitty chatty here now. You know, because we like to talk. All right. All right. What makes this really super cool, you guys, is it is made in Italy. And on the back, there's a little, little tag with information that says, Horse and Carriage Key Rack. D. Jefferson spent many hours traveling the roads of France in carriages like this one, depicted in the Italian Key Rack, complete with five handy hooks. It's made of antique brass. 11 and a half inches long. So basically, if you're buying this for resale, your description is there for you right there. Just copy whatever that says. Um, it's very, very high quality metal. I don't know, why does it have tape on the back? It doesn't need tape on the back. Very detailed. So this is not a cheap piece. This is a true vintage heavy duty key rack for your Bidding pleasure. <laughs> I got twenty-five dollars with Jeannie. Twenty-five, twenty-six with Lois. Thirty dollars, sneaky fox. Thirty with whoop, <laughs> sneaky fox. Thirty dollars is where I'm at. Thirty-three with Jeannie. Thirty-three is with Jeannie. I love it. Don't you love it, though, Jamie, when somebody actually has the information? I have to do this for my kids. I have to go through my glass collection and actually inventory the, everything for them, the, the pattern, the who made it, the year, because I have that information. They're not going to have that information unless I attach it to the stuff. So 
this is a this is a public service announcement. If you are of a certain age, you collect something, mark it up for your kids. Put a little put a little little taggy poo on it so somebody later on knows exactly what they got. Save them hours of research. You'll thank me later. They'll thank me later. It takes, it takes <laughs> hours to research glass. Sometimes, yeah. I'm at forty dollars with Jeannie. Going once. Going twice. And sold. All right. Naughty little bunnies. Come here. Come here, my naughty little bunnies. These are the most devious. Devious little mischievous little bunnies I've ever met in my life. I'm just saying. What? Diane snuck in for the win at 45. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right. Diane, that was that was quite the snipe right there. Oh, wrong lot. What? 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 What am I? She's telling me what? No, we're, we're, I got to skip the planter's dish because I found a chip in it. I'm going to give it away at the end. Oh, so I get to color it pink. I'm skipping. I'm skipping the planters to give away at the end. I get to color it pink. Yeah, you get to color it pink. I said that. You might not have heard me. Okay, so now we're skipping to the five naughty bunnies. They're all glass. Look at those eyes. Okay, I'm going to show you one at a time. Now, there's that one. So there's two that are large, like adult bunny size. Like you got you got mom and dad here, and then you've got you got two teenagers. Now this one again is one of those. This one we got we have his arm. We're going to glue it back on. So we have his arm, so he's got a little, he's got a little boo-boo. But the four of them are fine. It's just that one that we have to glue his little arm back on. But then there, then there's the little baby bunny. So you got two teenagers, and then you've got, you know, the little kid in there. Five all together. The lag is weird today. The lag is weird today. Because I don't even see a bid yet. You guys telling me you don't like little glass bunnies? Nobody likes little glass bunnies. I don't want to, I don't even know how to show these to you without dropping them. Here we go. I got $5 with Bree. I got $8 with Sneaky Fox. They are naughty bunnies. They are naughty bunnies. I got $8 is with Sneaky Fox. His little arm is right here that needs to be. $9. Yes, they do. They do. They just don't sit on my hand. They sit like that. They're they're slightly top heavy, but they do sit. I got twelve dollars with Deborah. Twelve dollars with Deborah. Mom, you grew a few hands. I did grow. I grew a hand. That would be nice. I grew, I grew two grew, hands. I grew two. That would be nice. Okay, twelve dollars going once, going twice. Let go. Put them in my hand. And sold. You guys just really didn't like the bunnies. Okay. Duly noted. No more bunnies. No more bunnies for you. Hey, boop. Choice. Ah, got it. Chicken? Chicken? Girl, don't even. You got so much stuff. There's my soul. Thirteen dollars to Maria Marsh. <laughs> all right. Ah, it's all good. As long as you're not a troll, you can visit away. I was just shutting up the trolls, okay? <laughs> In the most politest of way. We have another choice lot. Choice lot. Here's what we got. Oh, what's wrong with pinkle pickle pickle pink? I missed something. Somebody, somebody, fill me in. What's going on? What's going? Oh wait, stop. 
Oh, that's rough. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that that's a bummer. Ugh. Being a parent is so hard sometimes. It's heart crushing sometimes. All right. We have, these are all glass. I have two that are the same, but you're still choice. Um, there's three items. There's two chickens and a peacock. Let me figure out how to like get my mouth to spit out the words. All right. So we have the mama with the little chickies. And I have two of these. Okay, and then I have, I have the peacock. Ooh, I can find my camera. We have the beautiful peacock, and he is glass, and he is wonderful. So, is he broken? No, he's not. Oh, I just had a little bit shorter foot thing, but it's not broken. That's how he's made. He's all good. So your bid is for one. Your bid is for one. I see 15 with Deborah. Heim oh, thank you, Rachel. 15 with Deborah Heimbecker. $15. $18 with Gaylene. The little chicky chickens is made in China. They are made in China. These are not high, high end glass. They're just really super cute glass. $18 going once. $19 with Deborah. Going twice get those bids in because I am going to call them sold and it looks like let's see best thing is to watch that chat and be in live chat waiting for the sold there it is deborah would you like a chicken a peacock or a chicken or more than once chicken chicken or peacock chicken chicken show of course she wants the peacock okay back up bitters i got chickens i got chickens I saw other backup bidders. Who are my backups? Scroll down, scroll up, look and see who's. Um, she was at 20. Oh, Deborah's at 25. I'm sorry, Deborah, you can't outbid yourself. Oh. She was at 25. Oops, sorry. I forgot. That. Backup bidders. Anybody want the chicken? Chicken, chicken, anyone? Anybody, anybody? How much was it? I'll let them have it for their backup bid if it was the chicken they were after. Who wanted a chicken? Anybody wanted a chicken? Okay, I'm gonna chicken. put them aside. I'll do them on another sale. I'll take a chicken. Rachel says she'll take a chicken. What's that? Uh, I got it. Okay. This is a fairly rare pattern of Franciscan pottery. Uh oh. I see yes and yes. Ah! Okay. Hold on. Barbara and Debbie, do you each want a chicken for, what was the bid? 22 was your backup bid? You know what? I'm going to let you guys work that out in the chat so I can keep moving, or we are not going to finish. Let's keep, let's keep going. You guys work that out in the chat and just, uh, we'll figure it out in the, in the chat, which isn't moving right now. So I can't tell if anything's being worked out, but that's okay. I'm going to move on. All right. These are Franciscan pottery and something known as gunmetal. They are a bright, bright yellow on the inside, bright yellow with this gunmetal gray, almost black on the outside. I don't know what the purpose of these pieces are. 
I don't, I don't know what they were originally used for. Were they just bowls? Were they, were they planters? I don't know, but they'd make really stinking cool planters. I gotta say that. I gotta say that. All right, they're working it out over there. Can you follow in the chat so that you can get the names put in right? Uh, I already put in the names. Okay. Did they both say yes? Yeah. But did they both? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I'll let you work it out. Okay. No, those Cupy lamps were at the house that we visited. I wish I had those Cupy lamps. They were amazing. Someday they'll show up at the Yermo thrift store though, and I will catch them when they get there. All right, we got we got like the console bowl things going on. I don't know. I this is old Franciscan pottery. There's the sticker. Still got the patent part on the label. Planter bookends. Ooh, wouldn't they be cool? Even if that's not what they were meant for. They would totally work for that. That would look amazing. All right, and I'm at $22. Yikes, okay, <laughs> $22. You guys, you're gonna make me not put my better stuff in the sales anymore, ouch. All right, 22 is where we're at. Going once. I got 23 with Vintage and Vino. Go in twice. Now I'm seeing some chat action. I got 30 with Diane Weaver. Get those bids in because I'm going to call them. Sold. Let me just That's kind of creepy. That is kind of creepy. You made it creepy. All right. I need to know what's next, babe. Come on. Stop messing up. Stop messing around. You're supposed to be calling and keeping me straight, not doodling. I know, Sneaky Fox. I know. That's why I said I'm going to get back to doing some more uh, eBay auctions. There's something to be said for that. All right. There's my soul. All right. That went $35 to Diane Weaver. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, everybody that did um, on the Italian piece, right? Okay. I've got this really cool Italian planter with the fighting roosters. Look at them. Why are the roosters fighting? They are so mid-century because that's like a thing. <laughs> And the handle, it's not a true, it's its bump, like it's embossed, raised. It's not like truly a handle, but you got lions with the ring on each side. It is a planter. It's got the hole in the bottom for drainage. And it is marked Italy on the bottom. And we are at 25, 30. I got Sneaky Fox at 30. Sneaky Fox at 30. Pretty sure that's hand painted. Actually, you can almost see like the, like the, the, you know, pottery that, what do you call it? Like when it's spun and you see the ridges, you can see that. And then it was glazed over. This is a really cool piece. I am at 30. Oh, Debbie wanted both of those chickens, Rachel. I'm at 35 with Jeannie's Galleria. 35 with Jeannie. I'm gonna count it down. Going once. Going twice. And hand thrown. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. And sold. Check on Diane's last bid for what? What, 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 what? What are we talking about? What do we have? We have I have like 10 more lots I'd love to get through if we can power through these really quick and then give away some stuff. Just give away some stuff. 
if the cool can get through. Okay. There's my soul. Jeannie got that for 45. Oh, Jeannie, I think you got a really nice piece. Am I on this? Yes. Oh, that's, that's I, I was reading it caramel. It's not caramel, it's camel. All right, we have these, this little, little convoy of camels. They are, is that, I really need to dust. You know, I'm just really deciding that I should dust before I do these sales. Here we go, dust off now. <laughs> these are wood. They're little carved wood camels. They've been framed a little bit. You come down. I think it's supposed to look like summer in the distance. It's supposed to be like a like an optical kind of thing there. But you've got the seven little camels. They've been professionally framed. I don't know how old they are. They're just cool. They're just cool little camels. Why is it supposed to look like summer? It's no, it just makes it look like they're like they're traveling like like they're the same size, but these ones are in the distance. Oh. I am at eight dollars with Sneaky Fox. Eight dollars with Sneaky Fox. I just like saying Sneaky Fox. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Versus trying to say Melissa's whole name. See, I can't say Melissa's whole name. I would, I would chunk it up. <laughs> Try saying Melissa's whole name. <laughs> Um, no, nope, she knows I love her. <laughs> Ragdoll sales eBay seller. Do we have their email? Let's just double check before I take that bid. My my phone is barking at me. I'm at thirty dollars with Diane Weaver. It's a camel caravan, indeed. Optical illusion. You saw them selling in Israel in the 70s. Okay, Ragdoll Sales eBay seller, we don't have your registration to bid, so we cannot accept your bids. Um, I believe we're at $30 with Diane Weaver. Diane Weaver is at $30. Going once. Going twice. And so mom, mom, you're gonna get copyright. I know. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel, for being so Wood concerned. Got it. I just don't know if these are which way these go. Are they so There's my good? soul. Okay. Wait. Is it supposed to hold it, hang on the yes, wall? it hangs on the wall, but it can it can that's what I'm gonna show. It can go either way. What do you mean? I'm gonna show you. Do, do you want me to just stop the sale and explain this to you, my love? Mm -hmm. The deal is I would if you would get your face in the camera so no, everybody could hear what I tell you. No. Okay, then just you just you just listen. <laughs> Okay, these are the wood egg holders. Now, what we are debating is the fact that they're on this hanger and they go this way or they could hang this way. Whichever way you would like to put them on the wall because the, the holder holds them both ways. But there's an opening on the top. And they are all hand painted. <laughs> No egg cups were harmed in the stupidity of my making this sale. Okay. We have one runaway, which, oh, it came back to me. Look at that. It came back. All right. Note to self, do not just tilt them forward because they will come off. <laughs> all good. They're all here. <laughs> They're all still accounted for. It's just one of those days. All right, they are hand painted. They're actually quite lovely. You could do whatever you wanted. They don't have to stay on the little holder. These could go like up on a little shelf. What I was trying to show you is they're painted pink inside, okay? I'm just trying to show you the pink painting. Isn't that orange? But there's all that. No, it's a well, it's a peachy. It's a it's kind of a peachy pink. So 
like a terry it's pretty color. it's almost the color of the shirt i'm wearing but it's a little you're right it's a little oranger than my pink shirt they're all wood it ex escaped <laughs> air plants i know that's exactly what i was thinking and they're durable they are durable they're little solid wood i mean got a hair on it there's there's what the bottoms look like so they could just sit up, you know, on a shelf holding whatever you wanted them to hold. That's the one he rolled in a little, rolled in a little hair. Right. Coral. We'll call it coral. Is anybody bidding? Yeah. Okay. I got Deborah Labor at $20. Annie P wants to know if we got her email. And you guys, if you registered, if you sent an email in the last two weeks, you would have gotten an auto responder that lets yeah. you know that your email was received. So you don't even need to ask here because if you didn't get that email, we didn't get yours. So there you go. Salmon, salmon. All right. And a lot of, uh, here we go. Like everybody's asking, no, no, no. If you got an auto responder, you're registered. If you didn't get one, you need to send the email again. All right. I'm at $22. Let's count this down. Going once. Going twice. And calling them. So we're just going to set you right back down there so you don't get away. What's next? The, the Bear sculpture. Okay, and then the Toby mug after that. And then the the blue bunny plant. Okay, and then the Toby mug after that. And then the Toby mug. Thank you. What's the Toby mug? That. That's kind of creepy. Oh, where's my salt? There it is. All right, twenty five dollars looks like the winning bidder, Deborah Labor. Okay, now someone told me. Who this are? This is one of those pieces. I'm a little hesitant to put in the sale, but I'm gonna do it because I already had it in the pictures. Uh, the artist's name is Jacobson, 1997. This is a piece of Raku, Raku pottery with a fetish bear on top. There is your, there is your artist. I'll give you guys time. Go look up Jacobson Raku on eBay. Uh, it's a very good selling artist. Raku fetish bear. I knew Melissa would be on this one. This is not horsehair pottery. Some people thought this was horsehair pottery. It is not. This is Raku, and they've just put some purposeful veining in. That's what this artist does. Yeah, I'll give you guys time. Go ahead. Go do a completed search on eBay. Again, the artist is Jacobson, J-A-C-O-B-S-O-N, Jacobson. There you go. Melissa looked it up. Melissa looked it up. It is not the lid. There's no lid. It's simply a sculpture piece. Somebody told me a name for it. I'm so bad about remembering this stuff. So I get so much stuff and so many different pieces of data. But uh, I remember looking it up. A very good artist. I got sixty dollars with Melissa. Six. Oh wait, sixty was with Lynn. Melissa's at sixty-five. There we go. I'm at sixty-five with Melissa. That means we are also in the free shipping mode on this and five-dollar bid increments. Thank you, thank you. That's so funny. Uh, so sneaky fox, you do the same thing that I do when I'm in all caps. I still want to hit the shift key at the beginning. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 75. Melissa got the 75 in first. Let me get you some measurements on this too while we're bidding along. He stands approximately three and a half inches tall by four inch diameter. Four inch diameter. The 75 came in first from Melissa, giving Lynn and Carol a chance if they want to be 80. Need 80. Lynn is out. Carol, are you in? Are you out? I'm going to count it down. Going once. 
Carol is at 80. I'm at 80, looking for 85. 80, looking for 85. 80, looking for 85. There's 85 with Melissa. If you registered before I did the autoresponder, you are probably fine. I am good with selling this stuff here as long as I get a reasonable price and I'm 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 very okay with this right now. Yep. I'm good. I love to pass the love. How much was it worth when you looked it up? I don't remember. There's still meat on the bone though. Let's put it that way. There's still meat on the bone. I got Jeannie at $90. Melissa's at 95. Looking for a hundred. Looking for a hundred. I'm at 95 with Melissa. Please let me know if you're out. Please let me know if you're out. I got a hundred dollars with Jeannie's Galleria. I'm at a hundred dollars with Jeannie. 105 with Melissa. My eyes are like killing me. I already, my eyes already don't like mascara. And then, you know, and I cry and get mascara in my eyes. And my eyes are just burning. No. $110 with Jeannie. I think we got a battle going now. I'm at $110 with Jeannie. Are you in? Are you out, Melissa? Going to give you a chance. Melissa's at $115. Jeannie is out. I'm going to count it down. Diane, are you are you out? She might be going for the snipe. Oh, Jeannie lied. She came back in at 120. Jeannie's back in at 120. Melissa's at 125. <laughs> it's okay. You can change your mind. I got Roman. Uh, Roman, we need 130 or better. I'm at 125 with Melissa. Diana's out. Thank you. I'm at 125 with Melissa. Are you out now, Jeannie? <laughs> All right. I'm going once. I'm going twice. Ah, I got 130. I got 130 with Jeannie. It's a battle to the finish, 135. This is where, you know, putting that last minute little snipey snipe bit in there. If you really want it, I'm just saying, because I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it soul. Yes, I did. I did. You did? I did. I just, it went for a while. Ooh, Melissa, your 155 came in first. Melissa got it for 155. Okay, Melissa Lynn Colbert Amyot. See, I, I can't. I thought it was Amyot. I don't see. That's why I don't try to say it. But there you go. That bidding deserved me trying to say it. <laughs> I almost put it in as 15. So now we're gonna do a little lackluster bunny planter. Does anybody want to start at 150? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Look at, yeah, I've still got my sticker on the bottom. Oh, why didn't I clean that off? That's really tacky. Hold on. Let me get rid of some tackiness. That's just tacky. Tacky bunny. I was trying to see. It's got a mark on it. Hold on. Stand by. Stand by. Is that you? Or is that Zena? Zena left. Yeah, but she might be right around the. There's a dog smelling up the hallway. I'm just saying. And it is so not good. Can you go make sure the back door is open just in case dog needs to go out? Because that's smelling scary bad right now. Hurry, run. Oh, she wants to duck under. Hurry, run. I think we may have issues out there. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Just go open the back door, sweetie. Get us some air in here because I'm I'm choking. Okay. Would you guys like to see the bunny? Look at there's what it says on the bottom. See. Do we have an accident? A bad one. Oh no. This is why I own a carpet cleaner. Hello. Get that back door open. Oh, goodness. I knew that smelled a little bit too bad to just be farts. Okay. It smells so bad, you guys. I can't even tell you. All right. G GSD is what it says on the bottom. GSD. <sighs> oh, it's been it's been this way for about three months with her. She I actually put diapers on her at night and we usually keep the back door open, but it was really cold today. Yeah. <sighs> Fortunately, I have a son who does not mind cleaning up those messes. Thank you. All right, cute bunny. Cute bunny. All right, we got five dollars on the bunny. I know we're a little distracted now. And we only have 10 minutes left. <laughs> Are we at ten dollars? I don't know what 18 and 17, what is that the ages of your pets? I don't know. I'm gonna close this down fast, guys. I got ten dollars going once. Going twice and sold. I think we just got two more lots, so we're okay. We're okay. We're gonna get through it, right? I got two more lots. Uh, oh no, I forgot him. All right, let's do him. Yeah, I've like three or four. We'll get through it. They'll hang with me. Uh, high bidder was Maria Marsh at thirteen dollars. Well, so you know she feel a little bit better now. She hasn't eaten for three days. I don't know where any of that came from, but I don't want to know. Okay, how about a Toby mug, a genuine Royal Dalton Toby mug? Dun dun dun. I don't know what that mark is on there. That's actually not even what I, I don't know what that mark is there. I don't know what that mark is. It's Rip Van Winkle. There you go. Copyright 1954. I don't know when this one was done. But it is Rip Van Winkle. It is a good sized Toby mug. As you can see there. It's not one of the teeny tiny ones. It is four inches tall. Four inches tall, Rip Van Winkle. It's four inches tall. Royal Dalton. $14 with Sneaky Fox. $14. Let's go quick. 15 with Barbara. I'm going to go quick so we can get through this. Going once. Oh, bless his heart. He's even going to run the carpet cleaner for me. Got to love that boy. I got twenty dollars with Zoe, thirty with Diane. Did I start counting? I can't even remember. Ah, my brain is gone, you guys. Know. Going once. <laughs> but you did now. Going twice. He's amazing. <laughs> Both of my kids are amazing. And sold. I gotta do like a, a thing on this carpet cleaner that I, this carpet cleaner mm -hmm. is awesome. And I can't remember which one it is. I just got it off. It was only like $120 and it's small and compact and it does the job. I gotta tell you, it's amazing. Amazing. Diane got that for $50. Is it the book? Okay. I picked up this really cool book. At the swap meet of all places. Um, stand by. Oh. Anybody else getting spam messages from CVS Pharmacy? 
and they don't stop when you say stop, I'm getting really upset. All right, this is the history of movie making. Now, the reason I picked this up is because, thank you, Noah, it's a 1994, and it was printed in Italy. It's printed in Italy. It's a scholastic, but look how cool. We'll need to finish it off. I don't know. All right, I appreciate that. Is the back door open, babe? All right, let's air it out because it's uh oh and turn the uh air purifier back on. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that girl. Okay, so what's really cool about this book is the pages are like this glossy plastic, but look, like there's film strips. There's a real film strip in here, and there's it shows you like the overlays, how things have overlays. Uh, it's really, really a detailed book and I mean it covers some of the classics that have been done this little wait what does this one do wait why is that oh that's just a double page we got Charlie Chaplin oh here so there's a little little like a book within a book kind of flap thing going here for the silent film to show the silent film kind of thing going there what is this? The detach this section of the page along the dotted line. Oh, so bright and so I guess you it's never been done. It's I'm not gonna do it because it's never been done, but this detaches and western. Look at the cinematic quality of the oh, and there's a little what is oh this opens up to show some stuff. This book is really cool. It's a really cool book. Would be a great home school. Look, oh, look at the little window. Oh, the theater showing the progression of the theater. Cinemascope. It's just, it's just cool. It's just cool beans. So there you go. And in the back, there's it's still sealed. There's stickers under here, and it's still sealed in there. This is, book is brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. All right. We got $12 with Sneaky Fox. $12 going once. I'm with Sneaky Fox on the $12, Claudia. I have to be 13 or better. I got Jeannie with 15 going twice. Oh, no, Deborah. And we're going to call this one sold. Okay, did I have one more thing? You have three more things. No way. Choice, very lot. Okay, we're going to skip those. Gonna, okay, I'm going to go straight to number 50. Yay, get the coloring more. We're going to go to number, this is going to be the last lot, and then I'm going to give some stuff away because I don't want to hold you guys over. Everything's pink now. Yeah, that book is super giftable for sure. And there's my souls. Oh, Jeannie got it for $20. Can you scroll up just a little bit? I missed you said that. Oh, Deborah. So it's so funny because I'm going to go on a little rant here about here. You know what? I'm going to, you guys can start bidding on this and then I'll tell my story. These are Dorothy Thorpe mid-century silver band bowls. They got a little tape schmooze on them. I tried to get it all off. But I wasn't real thorough last night. So there's still going to be a little little tape smush because they had them all taped together when I bought them. I'll try to get more of that off before I mail them. But just know it's tape smush. You might find some. Um, and also the tape took off some of the tarnish. It didn't take off the silver. It took off the tarnish. So they're not super even all around. But there you go. You're getting the set. Now let me tell my story. So there was a time when saying that in school would have been essay worthy right but we're in a culture where they go and they hear every other word everybody says is the f word but we expect our kids do as i say not as i do when they're living it literally around them everywhere and many times their parents i'm sure are saying it in the home i don't cuss but i say that word i mean i do it's because it's a noun <laughs> it's a noun it's not a cuss word so i don't know I, it just that's just my little, my editorial on that whole thing. And also why we are going to be a homeschooling family as of this next school season. 
No, there we go. <laughs> and we've got eighteen dollars with Sneaky Fox. Yeah, I don't. I don't say that one. I don't, and it bugs. That one still bugs me. I hate that I hear it. And I I go and I see a really cool TikTok that I want to share, and all of a sudden I hear the music they chose has the F word, and it's like no. No, I'm not sharing that. That's ridiculous. I miss the days when the FCC would not allow that word to be out there. I do miss that. Exactly. It's a donkey. Okay, I'm just, I, something almost slipped out of my mouth and I'm just, I'm going to be good because I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> I got Brie for $20 going once. Going twice. And sold. Many of you can probably guess what I was going to say. We're not talking about it. Okay, let me bring up my little random spinner McGee here. Stand by. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Come on, I'm just down there. Now, I still can't find a wheel to spin like Fat Bird finds. I can't find the wheel to spin. So I do what's called a random number selector. And this is how it works. Oh, you got the winner on that last one? Bree for $22. Uh, so I'm going to show you something. Anybody who's interested in adding that item, you must have won something because I must already be shipping something to you. So if you won anything in this auction today, you are eligible to participate in the giveaways. And I'm going to show you an item and you, I'm going to give you a number for it. Put the number in the chat. I'm going to count how many people are interested and we're going to select one of those people randomly through an app. So. It's not about lag time. It's not about being fastest. It's fair for everybody. What's my first item I'm giving away? No way, pear grinder. Oh, my little pear grinder. So I got this little pear is that what it is? pepper grinder. Yep, yeah, it's a little pear pepper grinder. If you're interested in having this added, now here's the thing too. It's one one item. So if you're not super interested in this and you want to stay eligible for other items. Just keep that in mind. So once you win, you want to give away. Okay. Private school is, is good too. I, I miss private school too. Okay. The number on this is number three. If you would like the little pear, I think he's wood too. He's wood. The little pear grinder with a little label schmush that I need to still get off of there. Just put the number three. Let's put the number three. So I got one, two, Two people, three, you just got three people interested. Speak now or forever hold your pair. All no, right, have a pair I'm hold. closing off entries. Closing off entries. Now, stop. So out of four people, the winner is, Number three, Sue Golombeski. Sue Golombeski got the pair. My next item is the hummingbird. This was a lid to something. I didn't see five people. I only, oh gosh, hold on. Wait a minute. Can you scroll me back up, please? I got one, two, three. I only counted four. Go down, go down, go down. Nope, I only have four. I have four people. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let me redo it. Gosh, I hate, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Yeah, but I didn't have five in here. So I missed Barbara's. Okay, if you guys could, if we could stop all the chatting while we're, people are putting in numbers, because that's what happens is I, I miss it. So now I gotta I gotta redo it. I gotta redo it because it's not fair to leave Barbara out. So let me redo it. 
I'm sorry. I hate that because if you won and then you're like happy and then now I'm like taking it away. I hate that too. But ah. Oh, I think it ended up the same way. I think it still ended up with Sue Golombeski. Ah. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Next giveaway. I need you to scroll down, babe. I can't see the comments. Oh. Okay, this is a little hummingbird. I think it was a lid to something. So I'm just going to give it away if somebody, I mean, it makes a nice little sit about. It will just sit. It's a cute little hummingbird. And the number is five. Number five. It was meant to be. The number five would be the one for the hummingbird. I've got one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All of a sudden, one, two, three, four, five. All right, get those numbers in. Because I'm going to say stop. Okay, so we got five again, right? Can I choose the next number? Oops, six. All you do is push a button. Okay, I got six. It's the red. Oh, oh wait, I gotta change this to six. My I bad. The next number that they have to type. Oh in. yes, yes, yes. Of course. Number two. Oh my goodness, what's happening? What's happening right now? <laughs> Wait, count it again. Wait, count it again. Oh, I'm going nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're right. There was eight. I, I just suck at this, you guys. How, where did eight come from? Wait, it was before. It's because I don't have the mouth. I can't even do this like myself. This is really frustrating. All right. Hold on. I got to sit over here. I got to have control of this mouse so I can count because if I can't scroll. Okay. And some people are throwing eights in there. I didn't call a number eight. Oh, you got, ah, okay. You guys are just saying eight. <sighs> All right. I'm going to take a deep breath right here. I said for number five, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm counting nine. I'm counting nine. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to give stuff away. I'm just trying to give stuff away. Yes, this is only if you have won something because I am, because I'm putting this in a box that I'm already shipping to you. There's a bug in here now. Um, okay. Mods, if you could just help me out. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to do this one more time. I've got the hummingbird. What's the number, Rachel? Three. She says it's number three. All right. If you would like the hummingbird, put in number three, and I'm going to wait for my mods to give me the number. Yep. I'm going to have the mods call it out. So number three, if you have won something and you would like this added to your box, I can't, I can't look at YouTube and StreamYard at the same time, though, Tiger. That's just it. I can't. No can do. It's impossible. All right. Let's go ahead and say stop. And maybe, Rachel, you can help make sure they were all winners of something. You know how to do control F to find control F and you can type in, there you go. Like I'm thinking. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. We got six. We got six. Number one, 
Who is number one? Uh, 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 and now you're telling me five. <laughs> like, I'm dying here. Barbara Phillips. All right, Barbara, it's yours. Barbara, it's yours. All right, how about some coasters? How about some coasters? Pizza coasters, new in the package. Yeah, you're going to get my tacky little remnants of the Goodwill sticker, but they're free. You get pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. I don't know how many are. There's 12 pizza coasters, three flavors. There you go. Pizza coasters. How fun are those? Can you scroll me down to the bottom? I can't read it's nothing. There we go. It's, and we're done with that one, guys. We're done with that one. We're just, we're just done. <laughs> we're moving on. The number is, oh, I'm doing again, 10. Number 10. And I think Debbie's lagging. No, you were giving me the number of entries. I know. Oh, why? See, do I have to go back to just picking them out of a hat? I thought this would be easier. I thought it really would. All right. Get your number in. What are they made of? Um, they're by Kickerland. I don't know if they're like disposable ones. They might be paper or like cardboard. The fact that there's 12 of them kind of leads me to believe that. I think they're heavy cardboard. All right. Let's. We're not bidding. Stop. We're. Yeah. You need to put in the number 10. And just, just make sure everybody was a winner. All right, mods, what do I got? And hopefully my mods will agree. Yeah, I think they're all winners. I'm just waiting for how many now? Boy, this is going to take as long as bidding on stuff. Seven. Actually, I like to just give a number and just do like the first person, but that didn't go over well. So I'm just trying to like keep it fun, keep it fair. We got number five. Number five. So who's my number five? Who's my number five? You guys figure that out. And I'll figure out what the next thing is I'm giving away. Five sneaky fox. Lois Talent deleted his message. So it's oh. sneaky fox. Okay. Oh, so did we still have this? Oh, whatever. <laughs> What's the next item? Uh, burn napkins. Okay, so Sneaky Fox gets that. Sneaky Fox, you get that. Okay. People, if you have not won something today in this auction, do not put a number in. This is only for people who have won something in the sale today. Okay? And you know, you know if you haven't won something. So yeah. Okay. Next, I have some bird napkin rings. Seems like these could be repurposed for something fun. I don't know what, but they are porcelain. I actually sold these in a sale a long time ago and the person never paid. I never got them put back in the sale. I said, you know what, heck with it. I am just going to give them away. Their number is number 11. Number 11. If you want something in the sale and you are interested in the birds, Put in number 11. Should I type stop when you want them to stop? No, because you're hearing it when I'm saying it as opposed to it's still the lag thing. Oh, well, you guys like these. All right. Get your number in as I'm going to call stop. And now I think Joni will put in stop in there and then we can count them up and then we can give them away. There, or Julia will put in stop. <laughs> we have 11 entries. All right. 
All right, here goes. I'm trying to show you guys. Oh, it picked number one again. Who is number one? Who is number one? Melissa. Melissa. I got stuff all over the place. Is it the egg next? You're good. You're good. Figuring. Bowl figuring. Oh. Oops. Oh, can you reach it for me? He's over there. This guy? Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. He got a tippy in the foot. I did. And see, this, he needs to be loved. He's a really awesome Hereford bull. But he's got a little issue here on his tail. He's, he's got, got a little boo-boo. He's got fixed leg. And he's got a repaired leg. He's I mean, two repaired legs. he's not resaleable. Like, you wouldn't want this for resale. This is strictly for somebody who just like. would like a cool sit about. Because I think he's really cool. That's why I picked him up. He needed a home. Now I'm going to give him a home. If you're interested in Mr. Bully Bully, put in number 55. Number 55 for Mr. Bully Bully. Is anybody interested in Mr. Bull? I know. I got to wait for you guys to actually see me say something. Oh, you guys like him. Yay, you like Mr. Bull. I like him. All right. Stop. Oh, it's going to be one of three. It's one of three. I'm waiting for the stop. Anybody gonna say stop? Um, <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? There we go. <laughs> All right, I got three. It likes the number one. That is going to Roylene. Roylene, Roylene. All right. Should we make it? Two more items. We're going to go quick. What? Should we make it so that we don't count the ones that people put in before the go? Um, no, because they're hearing me say it, so they wouldn't otherwise know the number. So it's, it's good. It's fine. Okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful left an egg that, again, I opened it up and saw it has been repaired. I didn't even notice it. On the, I mean, I notice it now that I've discovered it, but now I'm just going to give it away because if you display it from this side, it's fine. You don't see that. So left an egg, number 27. Number 27 for the as is left an egg. You know, when I do this to you guys, because I don't want to throw this stuff away. I don't want it to end up in the landfill. And I know many of you can repurpose and, and love this stuff and give it a new home. So it's not that I want to like just, you know, give you repaired broken stuff. It's that I truly love that you guys will treasure this stuff. So that is why I do it. And I'm going to call stop. A lot there. there is. Got to do some fast counting. Right? I know. Okay, somebody give me a count. Ten. ten. Rachel says ten. Ten entries. Okay. All right. Number eight. Who is number eight? That is going to be, just go count 10 backwards. It's Mary Spry. Is it Mary Spry? Everybody concur. Mary Spry got the egg. Mary Spry is a good egg. The good egg got the good egg. Okay. And this is an item I pulled out of the sale because I just noticed he has a boo-boo. I was going to sell him. This is the last thing I'm giving away. It's a planter's peanut dish, and the edge does have a chip. 
you got a little missing sawtooth on the on the edge there. He's very vintage. He's Mr. Peanut. He's fun. He's quirky. And he is number 26. You got to come up with it faster, girl. We got to get done. It looks like you were going to say something. So I don't want to talk oh, over you. You can talk over me. It's fine. Number 26 for Mr. Peanut. And if only one person wants him, that's going to make it really easy. Oh, there we go. Okay. It could be a spoon rest. It can totally be a spoon rest. All right, stop. So far we have 10, but they haven't put stop. We have 11, but they haven't put stop in the chat yet. All right, hopefully it comes in there soon. There it is. All right, we got 11. And the winner is. Number four. Uh, Number four. Deborah Labor. Deborah Labor got Mr. Peanut. Woo! <laughs> you got to add him in there because I didn't. Uh, I did. Oh, you're so awesome. Thank you, everyone. Ah, got through it. We got through it, and uh, I would really appreciate your prayers because the next. Next 24 hours is going to be rough, and uh, but we're going to get through it. We're going to be okay. Um, thank you to my moderators over here who have kept everything running. Many of them have channels of their own. Be sure you go check them out. Many of them do live sales of their own. Go check out their channels and subscribe and, and get notifications on that. I couldn't do this without them. Honestly, could not do it without these awesome volunteers. I couldn't do it without all of you who come here every Friday and hang out and bid on stuff and make the auction format possible because you know, you can't do an auction if only one person wants something. <laughs> so I do really appreciate all of you for hanging out with me on Fridays and supporting the Niche Foundation. And uh, be sure you're here Monday at 1 p.m. I go live, we'll be talking about, I'm gonna be opening some fan mail on Monday. Finally, I'm so behind. I haven't opened it yet, so uh, you get to share in my surprise at whatever's in those boxes, a little mystery un, 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 mystery reveal. What was I trying to say? I don't even know. Mystery unboxing, reveal, kind of a thing. Yeah, that. Um, <laughs> all right, everyone. Go have an awesome weekend. We'll see you live on Monday. Of course, there'll be videos coming up every day between now and then. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.